we do some last minute workouts before the big race tomorrow at Monza on this next episode of Behind the Wheel. What's up guys it is uh what time is it it is 302 in the p.m on the 1st of december 2020 i hope you guys are starting your christmas shopping i'm not because i don't have any money but uh, <laughs> but here i am back in the gran turismo world we are um been working on this just started working on this amg sls livery here just for the hell of it. I was watching, um, oops. I was watching, uh, just before this, just before the stream, I was watching some, uh, highlights from, uh, the IMSA race at VIR, which is my hometown track, or one of my hometown tracks. We got a couple hometown tracks. Um, but, uh, I saw this SLS on there that was, uh, was really cool looking. And, uh, I think the part that is probably the most, uh, I don't think I can do this with a mouse on the com yeah, maybe, no, I guess I won't. Um, the part that, on this SLS, that's the same as the one that I saw during the race is this part in the vent area here, in the front brake venting area. I liked the idea that they had that little, that white outline for the um, brake duct there, so I incorporated that into this design um trying to design a slightly more simple car than the last car I designed which was a hot wheels car for for jared's son um you know i was just messing around with it. i've never actually designed anything for the sls before so i figured why not why not give it a hack it's a pretty cool car to design for i'm thinking that i'm going to probably carry this white over into the top part of the uh the rear end here but not the whole thing maybe i'll carry it over here i don't know usually when i do these um these designs it starts off with uh you know just an idea obviously i guess that's how everyone does their um their livery designs that start off with an idea um but it'll probably more morph over the course of time um, as I go through and design this car. Um, I might design this car and another car tonight. Who knows? Uh, this, like I said, this is kind of what I do. Aside from playing Battlefield when I'm not playing, um, when I'm not playing Gran Turismo, I'm playing Battlefield, or I'm creating liveries in Gran Turismo, or you know, every now and then I'm in Grand Theft Auto. I just don't have many people to play with in Grand Theft Auto, and, and I kind of need people to play with um, to do all the online stuff that I want to do, like bank heists and, and uh, what else is there? There's a bunch of other stuff in Grand Turismo or Grand Theft Auto. It's a really, for being as old as it is and as, as much as everyone complains about it, it really is kind of a feature-packed game, so... <laughs> You know, you really can't complain about that. At least they continue to uh, update that game over the course of its evolution. So we can't really fault um, Rockstar for that. I don't, I don't know how many of you guys... I know a few of you guys in my, in my audience are also fans of doing liveries. Um, at some point, I'd like to bring back the whole livery series but um i really can't do it during the season let's see if we can cut that corner i'm just doing this before um before the practice race it's just just because you know i gotta wait for everyone to kind of come into the room and i don't want to i don't want to open the lobby up just 
you know, immediately right now. This kind of gives you something else to watch other than me racing around the track badly. But, um, but yeah, this is, this is what I do. <laughs> I sit here and then mess with these little pieces all day. These little decals all day. I, I could do this all day, honestly. I could, I could al almost not race at all <laughs> and just do this all day. <laughs> but now that I've got myself mixed up with the whole, uh, FIA mess, I am now kind of addicted to that, so... I wish they would really make this thing a lot easier to work with, though. It really is kind of clunky. It's a clunky, it's a clunky function of the game that really hasn't been updated that much. I mean, it's seen a couple of updates, and I've complained about this before, but it, it's seen a couple updates since it's since it made its debut, um, but not enough that um, it blew me away when I came back to it. I honestly, this is one of the reasons why I didn't initially buy Gran Turismo when I bought this PlayStation, because I knew how much I got, I would get sucked into the whole livery editing thing. At the point when I stopped playing Gran Turismo 3, all I was doing was creating it. I wasn't even racing. I was just creating liveries there all day. Um, so that was one, and it just it became a problem after a while because that's all I would do. I just sit in front of the TV and, and create liveries all day. Um, cool. Looks like we got some people watching. Oh, by the way, um, down below in the description, I've added a bunch of links to help support um, the channel. So if you guys, if you guys want to help support me and my little thing going on here, I've got like a Streamlabs donation tab which you can donate anything from a dollar to whatever. And then uh, the Patreon, which is uh, pretty cool. You get merch. You get uh, access to the Discord server once it gets up. Um, I'm trying to actually kind of work that access into most everyone. It's just that people that have Patreon will have more access than people that are just YouTube subscribers. Um, and then below that, our um, Amazon affiliate links for stuff that I use to stream and since it's Christmas time or, or the holiday season whatever you want to call it um, I've got links for stuff that I own that I think is gonna would be make all right presents um, I know it's just a random list of stuff but I just became an Amazon affiliate last night so um, so if you guys click on the links and buy any of that stuff from the Amazon affiliate links, then uh, your boy Kaboom makes a little bit of money. <laughs> Make a little bit of commission off of that. Um, but uh, if you want to help support me, click on some of them links below. I think I'm going to carry all of this white to the top end of the car and maybe make... A pillar there white so the whole roof will be right white up until you get to the bottom of the door let's do this and this layer well we'll get to racing here in a second I, I think I'm gonna every episode I'm gonna probably be always working on a car before we we jump in because that's what I usually I'm doing is I'm designing cars I don't, I really honestly only race when I'm online streaming i really don't race a whole lot when i'm uh offline this is this is what i do in my offline time on gran turismo so if you ever click on and you're one of my friends and you see my gran turismo nine times out of ten i will not be racing <laughs> i'll be sitting here creating liveries uh let's do that and then let's add another layer um you know, once you get really good at it, you just it just becomes natural. You just know what tools you have at your disposal, and that's a lot of things. A lot of thing. That's the big thing about this um, this livery editor is knowing what you have at your disposal to work with and how to use it. Uh, they they give you a lot of tools. It's just you have to kind of go through all of them. They don't give you an actual instruction manual how to do any of this stuff. So you kind of just have to guess, which is kind of a pain, but. <laughs> You know, you can't have your hand held all the time, right? 
I mean, I guess that's kind of a part of it is that they kind of expect you to figure out new and different ways to do things, um, which I have. I just wish that um, they would tell more people about it and how to use it because I think there are a lot of people out there that would like to do their own designs for their cars, but they just uh, just don't know how to do it. Would help to have just a little bit of a guide, Gran Turismo, to help those folks. Let me let me do this. Let me do these last couple of touches, and then I'll open up the lobby. Just want to kind of look at this car, and then let it simmer while I um, drive Monza terribly. I mean, it's, these aren't the colors for the car. I just need I need. I usually start with like a base color, like you know, just a neutral color, like gray. And white are two good neutral colors to work with. Um, once I get the design down, I'll start thinking about actual color scheme. Or it might just stay gray and white, you know? Sometimes the car looks good in gray and white. Ah, yeah, that, that, that's a beginning. That's a beginning. Uh, I might add a gradient in there somewhere. Maybe, maybe the car grady, uh, is a gradient from front to back. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see once uh, this design gets finished. Or gets close to being finished. Sometimes I'll design a whole car and then um, not like something. Well, honestly, I only design one side of the car because I just flip everything on the other side. Um, especially with things like this where this took like 14 million decals to, to kind of get. This whole area was a little bit of pain it still needs to be cleaned up a little bit as you see there's a little bit of a little bit of sloppiness going on there but I can always clean that up very easily um, with the use of some shapes and just to get that just to give you an idea these are all the shapes that I've used so far to get to where I am most of them are the the base shape is this thing It'll, yeah, it'll flash there, and uh, and all the other shapes are being used to hide the stuff that I don't want from it. Uh, and that's what kind of makes the whole process really challenging because you only have really maybe a hundred shapes, I think maybe two hundred shapes to choose from to uh, to try to build something out of it. Um, you know, at first it might look like it's it's really um, limiting as far as uh, what you can do with them. But if you are imaginative, you can pull off some cool stuff. Um, and then, you know, the lack of having any kind of measurement tools is kind of debilitating until you realize that you can use the actual shapes as measuring tools. For example, and I think I said this yesterday. Excuse me, I didn't mean to do that on the camera. Um, I often use this one, this grid piece. I'll just turn it red because it's you know high visibility. Take it and do something like that. So that gives me coordinates for where everything should be lying, uh, as far as you know, should stuff be parallel to this line? What type of angle does this this line? you know, follow, you know, you can use this with it. You can do this with any shape and you have to realize, and I keep on saying this, that when Gran Turismo pops in the decal, when you, when you call it up, it will pop it in on center and level. So as long as you don't mess with the rotation or, uh, yeah, just as long as you don't mess with the rotation, you'll always have something that's level and on center. Um, you know, keep that in mind because that'll come in key when you start popping in, you know, all of these, <coughs> all of these tools and all of these decals. I mean, I, I've used, uh, not even just this shape. I use, uh, I use the most basic shape, this guy, this guy is great for, um, trying to level out text or a, a logo or whatever, or, you know, even the other decals, you know, you can use that to just level stuff out. Uh, I would suggest aligning it with camera or aligning it exactly, aligning it with, um, the, 
the uh, projection method that you're using to put the decal that you're trying to lay on with. Uh, so if you, this is, all of these are aligned with surface, so the um, the decal that I would lay down to measure all the stuff would be also aligned with surface. If I did with align with camera, then I would make sure that that thing is aligned with camera, or else everything's just going to go wacky. If you start mixing um, your measurement method with your projection method, it's going to get crazy. Anyhow, let's uh, let's finish this up. Let's uh, let's close this out and let's uh, open up the lobby. Uh, all right, let's uh, save this out just for now. We're working on it later on tonight. And we'll open up the practice lobby. We won't apply the livery now. And to keep things short, if you haven't, if you're not finished with your livery, don't always upload it because it just takes forever to say no. I don't upload my livery unless I'm completely done with it. Then I upload it. I know it's an extra like three minutes. Or extra, like maybe 45 seconds, but sometimes you just sit there and you wait for it to upload, and you're like, "Oh, come on, upload already!" Especially if you've got ideas flowing, you don't want to, you don't want to, um, you don't want to interrupt that. But you always kind of want to be saving just in case something crazy happens, right? That way, I think it just loads. I think it what it honestly does is it saves to the console and then once you upload it then it has your you know your designs upload uploaded to the cloud so that you can transfer all of your designs and stuff to people or to other machines ooh someone had a nascar lobby going on a nascar lobby with damage on i wonder where, i guess they're probably doing the ovals and maybe blue moon At some point, I would like to have a full line of grade three, group three, and group four cars, so of every single type. So, you know, everyone's everyone will have a car to choose from for the FIA. Uh, we'll just sit here and wait. How are you guys doing, dude? Good. Everyone doing fantastic. I hope everyone's having a great day. I mean, it's pretty all right today here in Los Angeles. It's kind of cloudy, but it's sort of sunny. I have a cup of coffee, so that's a good thing. Yeah, I was uh, trying to get inspired by watching some IMSA endurance races. It's good stuff. It's crazy that um, cars that they're running in 2020 were kind of the same cars that we're, we're running now in uh, this game. I mean, Porsche has been running this RSR for since 2017, I think. It's crazy. Very grande. De La Rogia here. All my corner names right here. I'm going to Lesma One. Into Lesmo Two. Carvo Saraggio is right here. Into Ascari. Yeah, this right here. I'm uh pretty certain I won't do very well in this race. But I'm gonna run it because I need the points. I've got some been thinking about the future in the next couple of months and I have some engagements that at least one engagement that might mean that I might have to miss one race. I had a job that got canceled. Um, they're lucky nine. 
I had a job that got canceled earlier this month um, that is promising to come back in January, which um, happens during the weekend, so I might miss that race. So in that case, I, I can't, really can't miss any races if I want to keep my score up. So I'm going to have to race every race until then. Hopefully that job happens in the postseason. Because I think our season ends on the 7th or 8th or something like that. I know it doesn't go very far into January. There are only 8 races this season, so... I oh, lucky. Just didn't want to be in the room. Fine. <laughs> Practice lobby is open for anyone that wants to come in. We just ask that you be a uh, driver that wants to learn and um, isn't super aggressive. You know, this is a practice lobby. We like to keep it clean in here. And we like to keep it non-toxic. If you are someone that gets uh, super reactive to people... Um, driving a little sloppy, then you might not want to come in here. <laughs> but if you can manage to uh, manage to stay calm, if someone accidentally bumps into you, come in. Races tomorrow, right? I'm telling you, man. I told you, uh, Florida gets cold every now and then. <laughs> I remember back in the day, there was a huge. Uh, they called it the. Uh, it was really bad for the citrus farmers down there when it. I think at one point in the winter, this is back in the 90s, it dropped down to like nine, like 30 degrees, and it destroyed the whole citrus crop. I think the Spectre just box is still open, so if you want to jump in that, that's cool. I mean, you know that. I did some work on the um, Discord last night. I gave all of the uh, channels descriptions. I worked. I was working more on um, Amazon affiliate stuff. She's 35, man. Cold snap. I was working on Amazon affiliate stuff and uh, slightly on the Discord last night. I still need to... I removed the bots because they really weren't doing anything. I'm going to add... I'm going to try to add like one or one bot that does automation really well. Not to mention I can get those two bots working right, so... Is Mi6 really that good? I mean, I'll download it again. I'll reattach it again. I just didn't... I couldn't get it to work. For some reason, it was saying that the permissions weren't right for it, but the permissions were all right for it. 
I don't know. I'll just reload it again and see what happens. Like, I've been messing with it pretty continuously since I downloaded it and I couldn't get it to work, so... I'm gonna have to just re-download it and try to mess with it more. Oh shit, I hope I didn't mess with anything if I, because I unload, I un, uninstalled it. But I'll reinstall it hopefully. Um, hope you didn't do anything heavy with it. <laughs> the thing is that to get the real extra function functionality out of Me 6, I need to pay for a sub subscription. I mean, if I paid for the subscription, we would it would be the probably the only bot that we need. Yeah, I saw that. I'll I'll reattach it and have a have a hack at it again. See what I can make it do. Yeah, I'm, I just haven't, I'm not that big yet. There are a couple of subscription services that I want to buy into, but I, I just don't have, I can't, um, I don't, I'm not big enough, I'm not making enough revenue off the channel to substantiate um, getting into a subscription just yet. So, we'll figure it out, dude. We could probably still use, um, We can still probably use it though, in the, even in, in its free form. joining us. Mima was one of our first, another one of our first viewers. I haven't seen you in a long time, my friends. It's been a, it's been a while. I hope you're doing good. Yeah, Mima, uh, that was a long time. It feels like it was ages ago. It was only like two months ago, but you and Jared were two of my first, uh, two of my first, uh, viewers, subscribers. I think we may have run a race together at the very beginning of the season. here. Good to see you.
great that I can't use Enter the Sand. <laughs> Spectate Nemo as they make their way around the track. Let's, uh, let's enable the keyboard. Display all race info. Let's take a look at the subway livery. Yeah, very nice. Ooh, I like that line going down <laughs> the eat fresh on the side too. I love the slogans. I love liveries that have the slogans on them. I like that uh, that tricolor line. I've been trying to incorporate something like that into my designs. It's really nice. It's a really subtle, subtle, um, super subtle uh, detail. I'm sorry, I'm having problems with the words right now. I like the contrast of the green and yellow. Those are the subway colors, obviously. I love the slogan, eat fresh. It's really cool. It's a really, really nice design. Milam, if you're out there listening, it's, it's great. I think it's, it's going to be uh, really awesome. <laughs> when you uh, unveil your new subway design at the FIA tomorrow. It's very nice. Very nice work. Let's take a look at uh, what club's doing. See, everyone's chatting. <laughs> oh, yes. Good meme. 
we have to do work things at time from time to time. Even I have to do work things from time to time. Kitty car back up. Run off some uh, practice, some more practice laps here. practice laps here. Lobby seems a little slow today, but um, you know, it's Tuesday. I'm sure everyone is doing uh, Tuesday things. I guess if uh, you're in a uh, city or county that's been hit hard by the uh, pandemic, you might be under a curfew, so you might be getting stuff done before that curfew happens. I know that's the case for Los Angeles. We are at curfew at 10 o'clock, so if you want to get anything done, you have to do it before 10. I'll let him catch up. catch up so you can see it. Oh, I guess Mimi's in the pits. <laughs> I was going to let him catch up and see the uh, delivery. Is that them coming out of the pits? Is that you, Mima? Let's see if I can catch up to Mima. You guys are out there and you want to practice practice lobbies open for anyone that wants to try to get their line better or practice on passing or whatever we just ask that you be uh, non-aggressive I mean there's gonna be slight aggression and slight competition obviously because we all want to practice at a level that will be close and a close approximation to the what you're gonna be racing in your lobby tomorrow. But there's no reason to drive like there is no tomorrow. Because this is after all just a practice lobby. There are no points to win. There are no points to win and there are uh, people that you're going to really maybe impress are a few people in the lobby, but you're not going to impress many people because there are a lot of very, very impressive drivers in here. The only thing you're going to impress anyone with is your clean driving abilities and your ability to not hit anyone. <laughs> the 
not tolerate the dive bomb mentality in here. You start dive bombing for corners and being super, super aggressive. We get a launcher type around here. <laughs> We're trying to catch up to me I'm here to show my livery. <laughs> Show that my livery. I don't want to assume that anyone is a male or female. <laughs> We're just letting me even check out the car. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, um, I think Mimi, Mimi, I believe we've, we met during uh, an FIA race. I guess I'm not gonna be faster than the Mustang down here either. Mustang looks fast around here, too. Yeah, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow, too, Mimo. Start the chat here. Some bomb tacos clip. <laughs> I have to admit that we've got some pretty bomb tacos around here, too. You're, you are talking to someone who lives in the capital, taco capital of the world. <laughs> I think we might have better tacos in Mexico here. You pretty much buy a taco on any street corner here in Los Angeles. Or at least you used to be able to. I'm not sure now with the uh, curfew if people are going to be allowed to have their food stands up operating beyond 10 o'clock. That must be killing a lot of these little independent food stands. Ah, Corvell's back. Hopefully Fabio comes back in, because I want to say sorry for yesterday. I didn't get to say sorry for yesterday. I didn't mean to crowd him in Lesmo, and I think he thought it was his fault, but I think honestly it was probably my fault. For crowding him in Lesmo. Should have probably just let him go. Vlad, what are you doing back there? <laughs> you still eating tacos? <laughs> tacos here. There's actually this great taco stand that's just down the street from me. 
so good. Oh, I shouldn't have started talking about food. Now I'm just going to get hungry. Tacos. Taco sauce. <laughs> so I can do that cleanly. Ah, got three paws here. Afternoon, afternoon to you, mate. is in here. Except we're missing tree fitty. second off of my times here. So it's really what I all I kind of want to do. Stop riding that line so high up like Chris said yesterday. Just getting ready for tomorrow. Oh, spelled tomorrow wrong. That's terrible. <laughs> Not only will you learn how to drive here, but you'll also learn how to spell, and spell badly. <laughs> Let's just jump out for a second and uh, give it a rest. And I uh, will spectate. As our room slowly fills up. Gold Honda 8, good afternoon, good to see you, or nice to meet you. We have not met Gold Honda 8 yet. Let 
tell you guys, just waiting for the room to fill up. We'll start practicing as soon as we get an acceptable amount of people. They know they've been in here before. And we kind of just wait for the, uh, ooh, Equisferum is back. Our friend with the equine name. I should look that up and see what Equisferum means. Something in Latin to do with horses. Let's look at Equisferum. What is Equisferum? Ferrum. Oh, doesn't say what it means. <laughs> Let's do a translation. Apparently, it's a company in Texas. Iron Horse. Iron Horse. That's a really, really nice way to say it. Very nice. Very classy. Very, very classy. Campos. Good afternoon. I don't think we've seen them before. Uh, let's say qualifying. We're getting some people in here, so let's say qualifying in uh, qualifying at 05, right? I think that will give enough people to slide in here, I think. JGT is in the room. Good afternoon. Good to see you again. GJ2 22222. Everyone is starting to populate the uh the lobby is starting to populate very nicely with some uh drivers that are we are all familiar with. I think the only person that I don't know is Gold Honda 8. I, I, I swear I know Campos 1996. I'm sorry if you're out there watching. It's hard for me to kind of keep track of everyone that does come in and out of the rooms. For some reason I have pretty, nah, I don't have really a selective memory with all these online names, but somehow, somewhere I remember most of them, so. Especially if they keep on showing up in my lists and such. Like I said, I hope Corvell's friend Fabio comes in here. I'm gonna tell him. I don't. I don't want to ask because he might not be friends with Cor uh, Fabio. I don't want to assume that because they're both from Colombia, that they're both friends. It might be, it might have just happened that Fabio ended up in here. I just want to tell him that I wanted to tell Fabio sorry for yesterday. I keep, Fabio left the room too fast for me to apologize, so. Take a look around the track and see what we've got going on in these uh, nine minutes before we start our race.
your boy Cleb is out there in his AMG Mercedes Benz in the Gulf livery. Let's see what M3 Paul has out there today. Ooh, look at that livery. That's nice. <laughs> Let me take a look at the doors here, Paul. Oh, I can... Oh, I love it. Does it say Kaboom on it? <laughs> oh, man, hold on. Let me see if it's, I can see it slow enough if my camera won't. Oh, you're on live. You, you must be listening to the stream. Let me see. Let me switch my cameras here. Drive a little bit more forward. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, Paul. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I like how people come in here to show off their liveries. <laughs> uh, at M3, Paul. For you, L. I love it. <laughs> Good afternoon. Nice to meet you, Mobile Masher. Oh, wait. I think we've seen Mobile Masher before. Yeah, we've seen Mobile Masher before. Dude, I love that. I love that. If you're on the stream, Paul, I love I love your livery. Uh. <laughs> I love it. That's great. <laughs> Oh, good afternoon. Nice to meet you, bothered turnip. <laughs> P4 UL. Oh, I forgot to put an ad it there. <laughs> let's take a look at let's take another look at it. Oh, Graspel's joining the room. We are filling up nicely. Good afternoon. Good nice to meet you. Uh Graspel. Let's take a look back out on the field. Paul's been incredibly fast. Campus 1996 is uh sporting a uh a Petronas. Patronus F1 livery. Corbell has got a nice livery as well. Let's see what uh, gold Honda's got. Looks like it's a basic livery, but I like it. Ooh, Mole Master's got a nice livery. I like that. I like having the idea of um, these random shapes. Let's take a look at Paul again. <laughs> yeah, I see the shopping list on the side of the door. It's great. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. <laughs> Guys, if you learn how to use a livery editor, you can do fun things like that as well. <laughs> when we um, when we get into the off season, or you know, maybe maybe for like fifteen or twenty minutes before the race, before we do the practice lobby, I'll do a little. I'll make sure to do a little bit of uh, livery editing, like tips and tricks that I've learned over the past couple years or the past couple months. 
working with the livery editor. So, um, you know, I want to kind of be fully rounded here. I don't want to just focus on this part, which I'm admittedly not as good as at as um, the livery editor. Turnip is going to say. Are you going to answer me back? Looks like we're going to have a pretty decent race, so if you want to get in here. Let's tell about a turnip. Turn it off. Turn it off. In your car settings. There it is. I wouldn't suggest turning it off. <laughs> Let's see if I turn it off. I think most everyone sets. Oh, Equisferum left. <laughs> All right, Equus Ferrum, are you going to come back? Iron Horse? I guess not. Okay, let's uh, see what Bother Turnip is going to say. Ooh, I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell you then. Oh uh, wait, let's wait for uh let's wait for this last person to res up.
start. Oh, he joins. Good. Oh, come on. Afternoon, nice to meet you. We're starting. We are starting. S underscore Enzo thirteen. Join, please. So we can start. Oh, I said pleases. Enzo thirteen, join, please, so we can start. There we go. Let's start. I hate when I have the last three people that come in the room. It's like, oh. Right as I'm about to start, they just jump into the room. Usually the last people that join the room end up freaking out. So let's just keep an eye on... Uh, Looks like Enzo made it out. Okay, let's see if GH, GHT one KK makes it out. Little Master made it out. Everyone seems like they're making it out of Graspool. Did you make it out? Oh, we have one person. I think Graspool might be glitching. Yeah, I think Graspool's glitching. That's right, I can't stop the race for one person. You're the only person, Rotary. Sorry, Rotary. That's insane. You might be bugging. Someone entered with intermediate? How did they enter with intermediate tires? I have the tires set. It's not virtually impossible to get a good qualifying lap when you're running a lobby. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump out and... I'm just gonna take last. <laughs> Yeah, no one should be able to be on intermediate tires. Everyone looked like they went out on, um, everyone looked like they went out on hard tires. So it might be just you bugging. Ooh, three Paul comes in on 143.98. Oh, man, 
that sucks. Polyphony Digital, fix your lobby servers. Man, it's so frustrating. I can't tell you how many times I've missed out on qualifying because, because I'm managing the lobby. Polyphony Digital, Digital, if you are out there, you need to really fix your servers. We might be able to get one lap out of this, I doubt it. Really, really doubt that I'm going to be able to get one lap out of this. We'll try. time. Does that mean you like to jump over train tracks while the train's coming? Maybe it's your internet connection, Club. I don't know. Maybe your maybe your um your network's is bogged down right now. sure there's probably increased internet traffic now that everyone's kind of locked up in their houses as well. probably start glitching as soon as we leave the pits in the auto drive glitch which means that we're gonna only have a field of 11 I really wish they would fix these servers um, Chris had made it brought up a good point yesterday they may also be bugging out because of PS5 integration you know maybe they're still trying to solve the problem of trying to get the two consoles to talk to each other You know, and I thought about it last night. That's going to be kind of a pain in the butt for a lot of games. I noticed yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before, I was trying to jump into Battlefield and all the EA servers were, like, down or something. But I, I, I couldn't get into any of the games. <laughs> I tried for, like, a half hour to try to get into one game, and it just kept on saying that I wasn't connected to the EA server. And I shut the machine off, turn it back on, shut the machine off, turn it back on. It was just crazy, and maybe maybe that's an issue that they're having. Is that um, they're trying to get PS5 integration going? Oh, Mr. T Takedo Oop was in here too.
get pulled out of the, um, the inside track there on Lesmo. You want to crowd him there. He's going to be able to anticipate this braking zone for everyone else. Break up, let off the gas a little early coast. Make a good little racer. I'm trying to keep Campos off my trail there. Campos will go on the inside for Parabolica. We'll give him the inside. No reason to try to block him out. He's going to be faster than me. But them shouldn't really assume that they're all male. Everyone on the track is male. Campos could be an 11-year-old girl. <laughs> Just don't know sometimes. And you get sucked in by the slipstream here. here. Gold Honda looks like, looks like he did a little ollie there over that barrier. So that's my one. We will go defensive. KR77 comes in a little late. off the track when you're going around Parabolica, folks. Put a second from your eyes away on the, um... Hello, Team, team KR. What happen? That's what's going to happen when you take your eyes off the track for just a split second. Senzo here and try to utilize his slipstream. Down Curva Grande here. Hopefully not run into him once we get into the Variante della Roggia.
this excess Enzo. Practice XS Enzo had. Copy that. Passing you to the right. Well, if you want me to pass you on the right, she can't speed up like that. <laughs> I don't know if he was signaling the pass or what. <laughs> This Enzo, dude, seriously? I can't run the practice laps either without having to to type. Guys, we're gonna jump in the room. Make sure you know how to use your turn signals, please. I might as well just start. I might as well just exit out of this race. This is, this is even worth it at this point. I'm just gonna spectate and just watch everyone here. Just watch MP Paul. 
and let's answer Team KR77 back. Very close in second place. Mobile Masher is uh, about six seconds off in third place. Fourth place is Campos 1996. He's uh, about five seconds off of uh, Mobile Masher. Mile Blue is about a second behind Campos in fifth place. Sixth place is Graspel. He's uh, another second behind Mile Blue. Corvell is 24 seconds behind uh, Graspel. Having a little rough time, but his car is looking fantastic. And Gold Honda is in eighth place. XS Enzo 13 has left the room. XS Enzo 13, learn how to use your turn signals, sir. And learn how to mind yourself on this track. Ooh, Fabio's back. Let's say hi to him. Yes, if you're going to use your turn signals, please know how to use them. That's all we ask. leaving the room. <laughs> Get this apology all set up for you and then you leave. Right, well, let's just continue watching here. Let's watch M3 Paul who is, uh, let's go on board, on board with M3, M3 Paul and see how he's doing his uh, laps around here in the BMW. One of the few BMWs we've seen around here this week. I would imagine the BMW does this, does very well around here as well. I think that M6 has a uh, an eight cylinder. Ooh, look at that tire wear. And lap ten. Let's look at people's tire wear. Looks pretty even. Mobile Masher seems like he's got better tire wear with the cars he's driving. Oh, he's in that four GT. take a look at uh, Mobile Master's line. We've watched uh, Temp do some amazing things in this Ford GT. Let's see if Mobile Master is just as good, if not better.
go on board with our fastest driver today so far, M3 Paul, and uh, beautiful grade 3 M's, uh, BMW M6. So entering Lesmo 1 at 80 miles per hour and 90 miles per hour. But imagine, you know, your entry speed in the Lesmo lunch should be around, you know, high 90s. Let's see what time he's going to pull out for this lap. Mind you, he's got a point uh, or seven hundredths of a second uh, penalty there. Three hundredths of a second. into Parabolica, he'll break at that in between the second to the last signs, it looks like, and he carries this outside line down to Curving Ronde. Curving Ronde. Translated literally as the Grand Curve. He's got a pretty commanding lead on Mobile Master at eight, uh, eight seconds. He will do well tomorrow. I'm not sure what level racer he's at. We're going to have to check the number list. I imagine he's a high level um, racer. Wow, and he enters uh, Del Rogi at uh, almost 100 miles per hour. Pretty consistent on Lesmo 1 at about around 80 miles per hour. The last lap he put a 140, 149.96 in. That's a very respectable time around here. It isn't the fastest, but it's pretty much what you want to kind of be doing around here. So around a 140. If you can do faster, that is awesome. If you can do slower, that might not be just, it depends on what lobby you're in. Um, in the lobby that I compete in, in the D lobby, 140 to 141, I think is going to be fast. I'm kind of there. I can hit a 141. But I can't quite hit the 140 just yet. Maybe we can do that today. Looking at the back of the field here. Who's fastest time today was 145, 379. He even hasn't probably hasn't warmed up yet. Because normally he's much faster. Mile blue, a new lobby entrant with that salmon. Salmon livery, that's really nice. Ooh, it's a Seiko. It's very nice, mile blue. I like that livery. GJ2, GJT222 in the Dodge Viper. Okay, he's got his name on the back of his car. It's really nice. Want to make sure everyone knows who you are. I understand that. I've got a car that is nothing but Kaboom Operator. Uh, Grass Bell in the Hyundai. Looks like he's got the stock livery. I think we've seen Graspel earlier this week. Campos with that Patronus livery. Congratulations to Lewis Hamilton for uh, winning Bahamari. And Mobile Masher with this livery, which I find really interesting. It's a really cool livery. I like the, the blue line, the offset blue line going down the middle there. Looks like from here it's not quite straight. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not. 
Oh, oh, I see. I see. There's a line that goes down to the left. I like these offset designs that don't have, that aren't um, so symmetrical all around, too. Just like M M3 Pulse, which is just all flames and, uh, and a grocery list. <laughs> For the COVID lockdown, I would imagine. The lockdown BMW 3. It's very nice. <laughs> you look closely, he has a uh, grocery list for all of the essential needs on the side there. He's going too fast for, for us to see them, though. I wish I could just lock in on his car and just follow his car. I, I kind of am, but I'm in this camera mode. Let's see if it'll let me do it in um, variable or non-variable camera mode. Yep, you can see it right there. Bread, cheese, milk, and eggs. <laughs> Very nice, my friend. Very nice. Nicely done. This is uh, the second COVID car we've seen in here. Gottlieb has, was driving another pandemic car earlier this week. I haven't seen Gottlieb in two days. I hope he comes back. My German friend. Ah, Mimum's back. I mean, well, and we will take this last ride along with our fastest driver. See if we can't learn anything from M3 Paul as we ride along with him. His entry speed into Della Rogia looks like it's around mid 70s or mid 60s to 70s. Once again, he's very, very consistent through uh, Lesbo 1 here, entering at about high 80s and 90s. Uh, Lesbo 2 seems like it's the same deal. As we enter into Ascari. Enter it at about 30, 80 miles per hour, high 80s. And he will have a pretty decent time here at about, probably about 141, I would imagine, as he crosses under the bridge at 121. Are you in the commentator box? Why don't I hear you? Hold on, Club Move. Let me get you into. See if that's being connected right now. Congratulations to Paul. Congratulations to M3 Paul for winning. I'll get into it really quick. Hold on. Give me a second. Let me uh, let me say uh, hi to people first. I'll be there in a second, club. Mimum. Good to see you again. All right. Let's see. In, uh, let's see qualifying. Let's do the next race at fifth uh, zero zero. For that earning summary. All right, now I gotta open. I've got so much technology going on right now. I was in the commentator box yesterday. No, I'll switch. Why am I not in that box anymore? There we go. Now I'm in. Welcome. What's up, buddy? 
How you doing? Can you still hear me? Can you talk? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, good. Um, what's going on? How's everyone doing? Oh, I guess you're the only everyone in here. <laughs> How you doing today, buddy? Good? Yeah, pretty good. We're welcoming to the channel, your boy Cleb. <laughs> okay, cool. Stream can hear me. Let's say hi to Terminal Goat. Jared Freeman is in the room. Uh oh. What's up, Jared? How you doing, buddy? We're just here doing the thing, you know, <laughs> the thing that we do. Wait, is he in here? He's in the oh, chat. Oh, he's in the stream or the he's channel? In this, he's in this channel, channel chat. Right okay. Now. He is yeah, in the God, channel chat. Like... You don't have to type because people can hear you, silly. You don't got to type nothing now. What's going on, Jared? How are you doing today? You doing good? You getting ready for tomorrow? We're in... At least I'm going to do terrible tomorrow. Well, I'm not going to do terrible. I'm just not going to do very good. I'm not looking to win this race. Let's put it that way. I think I'm going to do the daily races and focus purely on sportsmanship, like staying in the back and just driving real good. And then, like, maybe just letting my driver rating fall down to, like, high D. Cause that's hey. probably where I'd be a lot more competitive in. What's up, Pat? Tree Fitty's in the room. Yeah, you know, that's a good idea. You know, I do that from time to time where I, um, where I, uh, I will sandbag my score intentionally just so I can get, um, so I can get, uh, a good, uh, a good lobby. <laughs> it was almost yeah, what I was I doing. Yeah, sportsmen a lot more than I do driver rating. Yeah. So do I. I, but at this point, I, I've been able to keep um, keep a pretty consistent driver rating or safety rating of S. So I'm, I'll need to work on now the driver rating points. I was BB not that long ago, but I had some incidents where I got absolutely sent to the shadow realm, and Grand Tourism didn't like that for some reason. Decided to put me at DD, so I had to build that back up. Sometimes I think the game is biased towards British drivers. So every time <laughs> I get hit by one, I always get the penalty. <laughs> No, you're not, because he's not going to know. I'm sure people have their greeting, and they don't remember what they put for the greeting, greeting but... He has a, he has a uh, Days of Thunder quote for his greeting into the room. I wish the greetings were longer. All the ones I want to do are too long. <laughs> I barely squeezed the one I have in. Oh, well, I just squeeze my, I spam mine. <laughs> mine is spam. It used to be a personalized green, but now I just spam it. Ooh, this race is, maybe we'll just what short. What is uh, It's just my website and how to watch me on stream. Let's mm -hmm. just do the next race at 55. I'm probably only going to do two races and I'm going to get off. Get iron a bunch of clothes before I go to bed. Wow. Iron a bunch of clothes? Where are you gonna go somewhere? No, just uh, uniform and the dress pants I wear throughout the week. Because I like the, the stay dress pretty nicely. Let's 
say hi to Brandon BMW M3. Oh. Good afternoon. Nice to meet you. Um, someone else came in. I think we didn't say hi to. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Jared says he just watched Days of Thunder a couple days ago. I actually watch it a bunch. <laughs> I love that movie. It's one of the, probably the most, uh, one of the most inaccurate racing movies. <laughs> I love watching it. I'm dropping the hammer. No, you're not. <laughs> that is the southern man in me. Just love NASCAR. <laughs> Doesn't matter where I go, what I do, I still have a curiosity for NASCAR. I mean, it's, it's literally Top Gun. Days of Thunder is oh. like Top Gun in NASCAR. <laughs> <laughs> in racing cars. I got disconnected from the lobby and someone took my spot. That sucks. Let's see. No worries to at JGT at GGAT dash oh underscore two two two. Where's here to serve? And help run get fast for the FIA. Oh, he left again. <laughs> you can jump in, Club uh, JGT2222 just left. Awesome, I'm loading in. Load in now before someone else. Yep, you came in. Cool. Oh, Jared said me and Clint fighting. I already got it, Jared. I'm already in here. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta no, be Amy, no, you will not have the drink. As you can see, that's what's in the chat. I'll win, Jared. I'll, I'll tell you if someone jumps out again, Jared. You may be faster. I wish car. I could. I really wish I could give up my spot in the race so that someone else could join. Uh, you know, because I'm I'm gonna try to run this race and see how well I do. Yeah, I'm gonna run this one. I might uh sit in the next one out. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't I haven't run a full race yet, and I want to. I don't know how I got disconnected. I stopped liking. And if you're out there and you want to get fast before tomorrow or try to work on something, definitely what? come and join us in the lobby. We just ask uh, that you be a clean driver. I take my previous statement back. I have not stopped lagging. The, I don't know what's going on, buddy. That's weird. Oh, um, yeah, no. People are zooming around like a ping pong balls or whatever. Not ping pong balls. Uh, maybe reset the room. I don't think I don't know if anyone else is having the issue. I don't know. I already closed the app. I don't want to have to reset my PlayStation. All right, we're gonna reset the room. Everyone, hold, please.
change the event settings. And then hopefully everyone will res back up where they're supposed to. <laughs> Just trying to get rid of the bugs in the room. Hopefully this will clear us out. Don't everyone go out just yet. Hopefully this will clear out any of the bugs that we had in this last lobby. Okay. It really took a second to shut up, that was weird. Hopefully will not bug. No one's glitching around me yet, so okay. that might have helped. I'm going to go ahead and enter. <laughs> everyone enter the... Everyone enter the race. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I just watched someone defy physics. That car was upside down. I'm saving that. Is anyone glitching? Mickey 9209, did you glitch? Everyone join the race. Mickey BMW. Uh, BMW. Who else didn't join the race? Join the race. I'm gonna spectate this one until I can get my internet figured out. Oh, come on, Campos. Uh, the room is full. Uh, room is full, Campos. Lobby is full. Where are you? Lobby is full. Uh, no deja ingressor. What does that mean? Don't ask me. What's that even? No me deja. I guess maybe he's not running the race. I guess. Well, no me means obviously no, but uh. No, he didn't oh, have Jared jumped in. Guy. I don't think I don't think he's running the race now. Okay. Or he either that or he can't do something. Um, I don't know enough Spanish. Hold on. Open spots for anyone very very quickly if you're gonna jump in. Let me in. Are these people coming back in or what? Mickey said he won't let me in. Who won't let him in? I don't know. That's I just don't. what it translated to. Here we go. Here's BMW MM3. He left. Alright, yeah, yeah, he left. people might be having issues. Well, 
I, I know the server's already kind of whack today because I did two daily races and we're not. I can't smooth. wait for everyone because everyone else in here has been waiting, so. I'm gonna wait for Bar Brandon and Gunner to join back in. Gunner's back. Gunner's back. Brandon's already back. Yeah, Brandon came back and Gunner just got back in, but okay. he hasn't entered yet. Waiting for Gunner to enter. As soon as Gunner enters, we will start the race. <laughs> Alright, waiting for Gunner. Waiting for. Uh oh. Gunner 327. Oh, he's in. Okay. We are. Let's go. Let's start qualifying. Lewis Hamilton got a corona. Lewis Hamilton got corona? Yeah, he tested negative three times and then a fourth time came back positive. Ah, uh, well, I mean. I know uh, Lama, they were saying that um, I was watching uh, one of the IMSA replays uh, for um, Road America, and they were saying that after Lama, everyone, they had an outbreak of um, COVID there in the pits. Just make sure everyone goes out cleanly. Jared, uh, oh, Jared went out cleanly, good. And Everyone's saying bring in Hulkenberg. Hopefully M M3 Paul. Tree Fitty is, uh, I guess we're all going to wait in the pits here. It doesn't look like anyone's glitching. I'm going to go ahead and go out. I, um... You know, the, the testing is so, um, can be in, really inaccurate sometimes, too. I know my roommate, um, he works in the movie industry like me, and, uh, he, he has to get tested before every job. And he's tested positive sometimes, and he's tested negative sometimes. So, um,. That could be variable. So, I mean, if he continues to test uh, positive, then I would say, yeah, maybe he does have corona. But one time out of four, I think it's a little presumptuous to say that he has corona completely. Sucks, Gunner. Gunner looks like he's uh, bugging out. So we only had one bug. Can't do these turns as fast as M3 Paul. Maintain 80 miles per hour through there. Through Lesmo 1 and Lesmo 2. A little slower through Lesmo 2. So we head down Curve with Saraggio here. And we line up for uh, Scari. 
look for this orange marker on the right hand side. We're beginning a break here. We get heavier as we try to break that corner slightly. I am looking for 141. We might not get it out of this lap. Into Parabolica. We will try to break into the inside line. Wait for it to throw us out here into the rubber patch here on the outside of Parabolica as we enter into the um, last stretch to the start finish line with a 142. Get us nice place in this lobby. Current qualifying times. Let's try to get a decent run at Rogia, which will start with a good run through Evergrande. Probably cut a little too deep there. Lift off now. We're looking for that 150 sign for the breaking point. Try to do that a little faster. That wasn't as fast as we need to be going through there. Just try to keep the momentum up through the Lesmos. Lesmo 1 and 2. And try to build momentum down Curva uh, Seraggio as we get into Ascari. Are another place where I typically will get hit with a uh, pretty vicious uh, penalty. This will be slower. 121, 122, 123. So this will be like a 143 maybe. Takes us about 20 seconds to hit that bridge into Parabolica. All right, well, we, uh, looks like Brandon BMW M3 were faster then, and Isles 187, who will both picked up, uh, penalties, but Pat is hanging out in the, um, in the pit, so we're, we know we're not faster than Pat. Mr. I need you fitty, I, I'm not going to be able to look at your car now because I'm racing. But I'll see your car from the behind as you pass me. We'll see what how the uh, Corvette C7 has changed today. Uh, who else is running? Pat's the only one that's in the pit. Club, are you running this race now? Oh, I restarted my PlayStation. Oh, you restarted your PlayStation? Yeah. See if that would help with the connection issue. Uh, you know what? She, uh, clear out your data cache and your network cache in Gran Turismo, too. That might be a part of it. That's the only thing, that's the only suggestions that I have. Skunk Robin keeps on trying to jump in, but he keeps on jumping back out because he comes in a little too late. <sighs> that sucks. Skunk Realm, you need to be faster. You could have got this last spot. One spot open. Uh, Meme 41. We'll start up behind Meme 41. Another, uh, like I said before, another early, early YouTube uh, viewer. One of my earlier subscribers. Earliest subscribers. That Subway Eat Fresh Mustang. Yes, we are off. We all will form a tango line going into Carve Grande. I'm just going to sit here in the slipstream and uh, let everyone else tug me around. I know that sounded terrible. Hard to see that camel livery of Jared Freeman's. Oh. Let's see if we have some off. Uh, I've 
trust that Jared's gonna probably catch up with me here. Because I am not fast. Jared, I think uh, Mimum is uh, another person who we might end up uh, competing against uh, tomorrow. Because I believe I met Mimum41 in an FIA race, just like I met you. I think we may have raced one of my first or second streams that I um, did, I believe I raced Mimum41. Very, very early. Two months ago. <laughs> we definitely have uh, come a long way in two months. And I hope to get even bigger in the next two months. A little bump draft from Miami Tree Fitty. <laughs> Trying to get my Porsche a little faster. Give me another bump there, boss. There you go. <laughs> I, I am... 172. That's as fast as I can go <laughs> by myself. It's going to have the advantage on me. In, well, maybe I'll be too far ahead for him in Lesmo here. Had to make his way around me. But as soon as we get to the straightaway here and the curve a uh, Siragio, Pat will have the advantage. Another bump draft from Chuck Pat. <laughs> Thank you, sir. how slow this Porsche is in the straights. You should have that F1 everywhere else but the straight, honestly. It's not it's not even that much better on the straight. What's that? An F1 behind you. Oh the F1. Yeah. <laughs> That's Pat. That's too fitty. Yeah. Uh, he knows he knows that I've been having problems with speed back here. Uh, help him out. Let him go faster. Oh, I'm already starting to lie again. I'm making a round. Yes, folks. Has joined the room. Let's see Yamaha. Terminal Goat seems like he's spun off. Pat will continue to bump draft me. Which is actually really good practice for what I will probably see in the FIA tomorrow because this is going to happen all the time. People are just bumping you. That's what happens in that lobby. Catches up with me as soon as I get into the straights. It's amazing how slow this car is.
Porsche is way more nimble. I've been watching and check the corners there than the F1. It's got that going for it. Oh, and a tick. Scarry wide and right into the wall. Great. Covered itself from its damages. Through Della Rosia, a little faster. We'll just keep a more consistent speed through there. We are catching up with Corvell, who's also in an RSR. And maybe we can help each other out. Little cars helping each other out. What I'm hoping will save me tomorrow is that uh, my lobby will probably be sloppy, with the exception of a few drivers. I'm gonna take take it that. Since Jared finished so well his last race, he might not be in the same lobby as me. I did not finish as well as Jared did in the last race. It sad to me that I'm not going to see him during my race. That I might not see him during my race. Because I really do enjoy racing with Jared. how they judge that when they make the split for driver ratings. So I know they take a lot of things into consideration, like safety rating as well gets considered. Because I've seen a couple of low rated um, BNC drivers in my FAA a lot every now and then. Last race, I had a 10 on my door, which, um, if the folklore about door numbers is right in this game, that means I was in 10th. I was in 10th place in that lobby. Even though I started, oh, did I start 10th? I think I started 10th. But supposedly, the door number they assign you the lobbies for the FIA will, dictate, will tell you where in that lobby you sit as far as driver's ratings is concerned, are concerned. At least that's what I've heard. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm not sure if anyone's verified that that is the case. So it's not necessarily your your ranking and qualifying, it's your ranking in the actual lobby. Oh, 
or so I've been told. Taking a section slightly slower than M3 Paul does it in his M8 or his M6. Temp is in the room. A lobby and a chat room favorite. Our boy Temp. <laughs> Still going too deep in this corner. I think I want to hang more here. Curly Grande. And I'm going to go too hot. I knew that. I knew that was coming. I really wish it wouldn't restart me here, right in the middle of Variante Della Rosia. Kind of a bad place to start a car. What's up, Temp? Also, really important through Scari is connecting your braking and your accelerating. You can really do a seamless brake to acceleration juggling act there in the middle of Scari. You can do it very quickly. You can pull a good time out of it. Joining the stream just now. If you've noticed down in the description links there, put a little donation bucket to keep your local digital racetrack alive and operating. Your donations will help me pay for my internet bill and electricity so I can continue to host our little digital, digital racetrack here. Take donations all the way down to a dollar. Anything, anything helps. And there are also links to Amazon back down there for stuff that I use to stream, to host a stream, and uh, what other links do I have down there? gift ideas that aren't necessarily racing involved, and a little wish list for stuff that I found on Amazon that would be cool for a simulator rig. I became an Amazon associate or affiliate last night, so maybe you're watching the stream and you're looking for something cool for Christmas to give to someone, <laughs> put a couple suggestions down there in the box. The descriptions below. And that will be the place where I will open a merch store as well. So, 
I'll look for that, for that in the future. And the links for the Discord will be down there as soon as I can, Club and I can get it up and going. Club's been doing most of the work on it. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, you're doing, you're doing definitely work that, you're helping me structure it, so it's a lot of work to me. I might need to redo the permissions because honestly, I might have. I'm like still trying to figure out if I can. Well, do it from like the back ground up in terms of who has access, or bottom down in terms of who does not have access. Well, on the server side, I can set all of that for each role. You see what I'm saying? Well, yeah, you can set it for role, but at the same time, we need channel. Like I'm talking about channel overrides for. Oh yeah. Like, That's announcements or yeah. things like that. I think I just need to really kind of work on doing the bot for the um, for the uh, welcome and everyone, so that when people click on the bot, it will tell me that they read the rules and regulations for the server, and it will automatically assign them a role as a Discord server member. I would like to find a bot that was a little bit more specific for my YouTube viewers. You can do that with the, uh, the Mi 6 bot. On, yeah. Like the yeah. custom command and stuff like that, but you yeah. have to pay for a lot of that. Yeah. That's, that's... You can do a one-time payment, but it's like the price of a brand new game. But still though, I mean, you buy it once and you never have to pay for it again. Yeah. I mean, it's the number one Discord bot, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I just gotta... I gotta pony up the money for that Discord bot. Yeah. It might be the one bot that I, because there's another one that I was looking at, Dinobot, which also does has a lot of functionality. But Mi6, I think, has a better dashboard. Yeah, I was looking at the Mi6 dashboard, and it actually seemed pretty simple. Yeah, it's pretty simple. It's got a pretty simple console. YAGDB.XYZ. It's like a robot thing. <laughs> and I see that a lot too. Oh, Yagbot? Yeah, Yagbot is another yeah, one. Yeah, 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 I see that a lot. And, yeah. Um, yeah, Yagbot's a really popular one as well. But like Digital Card, I got him on the server, he uses Me6. Um, a few main page servers I'm in with Me6. Yeah, I'll be down on me six. I just didn't give me six enough of a chance. It was just, I was have like nine bots. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't want to have that many bots. I want to have literally like maybe two bots that do everything. Rither. It's just that you have to pay. You have to pay. He's probably using, or they're probably using all the free functions from all those bots. Because most bots have a free function. Um, yeah. But if I'm gonna this honestly. Ugh. Yeah, honestly, I'll be willing to pay money just to have one bot that handles everything. Yeah, because it's definitely a lot less stuff to do. Yeah. We just have one. But this person's got Rhythm, um, Xenon, Unbelievable Boat, or Unbelievable Boat. No, it is Unbelievable Boat, okay. Uh, this person's got like 700 Groovy, V6, Giveaway Bot, yeah, Reaction and Rolls. Oh. Literally just a reaction robot. Well, that's the thing is, Me6 has a reaction robot as well, so. Well, that's but like a branch of Me6, but like. I have to pay for that. That's yeah, I think this one's specifically for that and nothing else, as if it might be free. Hold on, I'm gonna look it up real quick. You might have just found a free reaction bot, which would be really, really cool for like temporary. So you, um. Uh, well, if I could do all reactions, that'd be awesome. And that's the thing, I think that's one of the purchasable features. I mean, I really just want a roll reaction bot so that people can click on stuff and stuff happens. Yeah, it is just a bot. Yeah, but it's just called reaction rolls. Well, that's it. Is it free? Uh, all I see is it's my bot. Oh. So I'm gonna log into my Discord and see if I can do that. 
which one is cool. You're putting some pretty decent times around here. They're managing to stay in eighth place. Even though I keep on doing that in Rosia. Doing really ugly in Rosia. times that I'm actually ahead of Jared. <laughs> this may be the only time I've been ahead of Jared in about two weeks. And I know he's been struggling with that power in the Atenza. Same struggle that I'm having here with the RSR. There he is. Reaction rolls is in the server. Alright, cool. I'll, 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 be, I'll go do that. Yeah, um, dude. If you can set up the rules. My Wi-Fi is being a pain, so I'm not going to get a bottle during prison. You know, the, the rules are simple. You know, everyone be cordial to each other, everyone be cool, and... Yeah, you know, but at the same time, you want to be in depth, because there's always going to be that one in person. It's like, oh, well, there's nothing against this. Yeah, but I mean, like... It won't be that big. I'll make a rule list. It won't be that big. You know, generally, we don't want, like, racism or, you know, slander yeah. remarks or any of that kind of stuff. <laughs> like, no fights, no, no direct fights, results. No fights, you know, everyone be cool. No bad-mouthing people. Yeah, no bad-mouthing people, no trash, well, we could you trash could swear, talk. but no slurs or anything like that. Yeah, no, like, excessive swearing, you know, stuff like that. No sexually explicit material, you know, all the... Normal stuff for normal people. Yeah, no porn, no porn, no, no porn. <laughs> no oh, porn. we still have a meme channel. I just remember, crap. Did you add the meme channel yet? Uh, no. We I'm don't have let anywhere you... like categories that would like fit in. Well, just, just is put a game related. Just put it as a its own channel. <laughs> like funny like, stuff. Oh, okay. I guess we'll have a meme category. Just have like a meme category. Give it, give it its own channel. Oh, come on! Gonna go perform some top tier multitasking. Let me do Dallas multipass. Come on, man. Let's be bounced back from that one, too. Is one of the things we practice in here is me being a sloppy driver. If you know that you're a bad driver or not as good, you should be always aware of how to reset your car so that you can continue your race without losing any time. <laughs> this probably should be a race basic. Something they would probably teach you in like a good driving school how to drive your car in emergency situations. Very overlooked aspect of driving. You know, when I did my driving test, they didn't do anything relating to that. They don't. Not in the United States, they don't. You know how long it takes to get a, um, a license in, a, in like the Scandinavian countries? It's, it takes forever. It takes like two years. Because talking getting a license in like uh, like Norway and Finland. I think Finland is probably the most strict. I think they. I think it's like two or three years. That's why most of your greatest or so many great racing drivers come from that area. Yeah, they have a very very rigorous um, driving regimen or drivers driving test regimen. It's one of the hardest regions to get a license. And that saying goes, if you want to win, hire a Finn. It's the case for Formula One and rally racing, definitely. Some 
of your best rally races um, come from that region. I wish our, uh, I think our driver driving culture would be better if we had have a, had a, had a tougher um, licensing. Um, yeah, process. absolutely. Like, because there's some people that just cheat, like on the because we have like the online like permit test now, and once you do that, you don't have to do any what form of a written test or anything. Well, what? Here in Florida. What really? What you're laughing at, Jared? <laughs> that was the f dude. That's the first time I've ever been ahead of you all week. All like in the last two weeks, I haven't been able to be in front. Of, I haven't been in front of you in, in weeks now. You just got faster in the off season, dude. Not that you were slow before. <laughs> but you, you've gotten really fast, man. Congratulations. Team Kiar has been fast all week. Uh, let's do next race at 50. Yeah, I know. I noticed you were catching up to me. And it doesn't look like your car is... Um, it doesn't look like your car is... Uh, is glitching. I, I, your livery is showing up and everything is showing up, so you are all good. Yeah, I saw you. You and Memem went off went off, uh, went off, off track there. Memem41 is another guy. I th I'm pretty sure Memem41 has competed with us before. I'd have to go through all my old, old, old race footage from last season. But um, God, that's that's in, back in the files. Like I said, it's it seems like it was such a long time ago, but it was only really only like two months ago. <laughs> yeah, you that first lap, I saw you go off, in uh in Curvy Grande there. We'll jump out here. We'll jump out and uh. Just spectate. See what's going on around the track. Look at everyone's livery. Uh oh, temp. Looks like you're glitching, buddy. Put the Ken Black livery on your Ford GT. You might want to jump back out and come back in. Yeah, that's a bad pitch, pitch glitch right there. Let me let me try resetting this, resetting the server too. Just jump back in. Ooh, Fabio's got a really nice livery. Yeah, I mean, it's hard. That's hard when you get up there. It's like trying to get, um... Trying to stay in that upper groove is really, really tough, man. I've been trying to, um, I've seen him before. I've been trying to hang out up there, and it's, it's, it's tough trying to hang up there. British YouTuber in here. Campos, 1996 is sending me a friend request. Well, sure. Let's be friends, Campos. Add to friends. I'm going to have like a million PlayStation friends here in a second. Getting people that are familiar with each other. I think we've seen to her before. Uh, 
friend request from Mickey two nine two oh nine. We'll add them to friends as well. He's got a crash bandicoot. Typos. I am one of those people that I do too. I am one of those people that is super, super careful about what I type. I'm very, very picky about what I type. <laughs> let's, uh, let's take a tour around track here. Let's give a, um, a warning that our qualifying will happen. Yeah. It was all in the stream. Uh, Jared and uh, I saw Patton here for a second. Would imagine Alan's probably poking around. All of our regulars in the stream. If you're not a regular in the stream, um, join in and talk. We don't exactly. bite. Subscribe, or my people won't draft you in a hurry. track oh good you put the new uh i'm glad you put that new camel livery on there i noticed that you hadn't put that on yet that one's actually got your number on the back jared his phone number can i call him up no his uh his uh his uh what's it called number his uh race number that's a shame. I was going to call Jared. <laughs> no one calls Jared. <laughs> Maybe I'll call Mike and ask him to stop on drafting me.
<laughs> oh, that's right. Forgot TMPR. an Atenza driver. That's surprising. At least for a monster. If you hear a hissing, you're not about to get bit by a snake. I'm iron clothes. <laughs> you're iron clothes. <laughs> yeah. So don't look around as if you're about to get bit by a snake. You won't get bit by a snake. <laughs> in three minutes. You're not gonna run this waste, club? Oh no, my PlayStation's not even on. Oh really? Yeah, no, I'm in my little like indoor tiny little gym thing, iron and clothes. <laughs> Same lobby tomorrow, Jared. I really do. What time are you going to be doing the race tomorrow? I am going to do the second race. You have any idea what time that is? Uh, I, have to I know look. they normally start like right around like five forty-five, and then carry on later into the day, which is yeah. good. Well, at least five forty-five for me. I don't know about you. That translate to for that. Let me tell Martin Lou. I'll wait. This lobby fills up fast. he can get into the room. We will wait for Arden to come back. Hopefully he can get into the room. It doesn't look like we don't have anyone we don't have anyone else joining right now, so he has a good chance of getting back in. Oh, and Mickey comes in, he may have taken his place. Nope. I think you still have one more spot open, Arden, if you if you are quick you can make it back in. Oh, we might, we might have just, we might have just filled up. Let's check. Ah, oh, we filled up. Arden, if you're out there, we're filled up, man. filled up. Christ. He shouldn't have jumped out. Oh well. Let's um, start qualifying. I 
I, um... I'm just gonna spectate this one. Give the shoulder a rest. Arden, if you're out there... And... For you. What's up? I got a question for you. Uh, yeah. How do you like your orange shoes? Pulp, some pulp, or no pulp? Uh, some pulp or pulp. I like my fiber. <laughs> I can't stand people that have no pulp in their orange shoes. Yeah, it just tastes like tang after, or it just feels like tang after the hat. <laughs> At that point, it's like, it's just... It's just orange not, flavored it's, juice. Like, yeah, it's, it's, not just, it's just orange flavored water at that point. I need Tree Fitty. It looks like or Mickey's got a. Um, are you stuck, Temp? Oh no, dude, you're stuck again. You you, you glitched out before too. Isles 187's got a nice Jaguar livery. I don't think that's uh, stock. Terminal Goat. Has a red rum delivery. That's very nice. <laughs> I love that psycho-looking livery. <laughs> See what I need. Trifidi has done. Oh, wow! I need Trifidi is in a um, Pat's in a uh, Supra for some unknown reason. Looking for a challenge, I guess. Scary guy sitting in the, in the pits. Turpif. Pure, Pure F639 is in his Supra. Dude, that sucks, man. But Arden, Arden joined late. Crap. Let me tell him. We tried waiting for you, but we pulled up. in the fastest time right now. Terminal Goat is in first, but that doesn't mean that he's going to qualify first. Um, he's looking pretty fast at 113 as he comes out of Ascari into uh, Parabolica. Uh, it looks like he's going to put a 140 in. is uh, right behind him in that, uh, that Supra. He's got a political message on his car. And Perf actually comes in with the fastest lap. I guess he may have caught some, uh, some of that draft off of uh, that slip scheme off of Terminal Goat with a 139.467. I believe these two know each other. Wow. Perf. To Purify 639 is actually very fast. Uh, Mickey 9209, also a lobby regular, in his bug, putting in a pretty decent time as well. He's uh, he's qualified a second. M3 Paul, back in his Penzoil, uh, oh. back in his Penzoil uh, RSR that we all like so much with the big. That big bulldog on the on the hood. Not too far behind in fourth place. Fabio BC24 in that uh, the only Peugeot I've seen all week uh, is in fifth place. Looking good with that livery, by the way. Uh, Campos in sixth place. Seventh place is Corvell. 
Eighth place is IELTS 187. And I'm not sure if that's a standard uh, Jaguar uh, livery. Ninth place is Oscars in Hyundai Genesis. We saw him running this yesterday. Tenth place is BMW M3. He's driving that Huracan. Made a little bit of an aggressive move for in a qualifying round, but we're not going to call foul. Let's see, eleventh place is Jared Freeman's in the uh, beautiful, beautiful camel Atenza. <laughs> I wonder who designed that one. And uh, Corvell will be in tenth place. Scary guys in 13th and 14th. We have Pat, who is going to probably start from the rear in that Supra. Hopefully, we won't bug out. It looks like we already have some lagging bugs going on here. Hopefully, we won't lag out for this race. But we have a pretty full field here at uh, 14. Sucks that temp got disconnected because that would have given us a full field. That sucks, dude. I'm sorry. I'm gonna clear cash again when we start the when we start the lobby up after this race. I'll clear cash. Someone's gonna if I don't do it, someone's gonna scream at me and tell me to clear the cash out of the lobby because I'll forget about it. We got 20 seconds left for. Uh, I should probably lower that number. Uh, I think. He said he was good. be able to have the ability to chat no matter what since I'm a room king. I shouldn't have to sit through all of this. <laughs> Your stream is surprisingly fast today. Yeah, I messed with it a little bit. Yeah, I hear you talking in the Discord. It only takes like two seconds to hear you talking on the stream. So yeah, I messed I rather mess around with my 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 and see. And we are off as we go into Grande Parabolica. Or Grande Blah. Kirby Grande. Campos 1996 and look on the inside of M3 Paul as we head into Kirby Grande. And that AMG is gonna make its way around the RSR. The RSR is not as fast as that AMG around here. M3 Paul is going to make a case though in uh, in the chicane here. So we're going too wide there. Terminal goes right behind. M3 Paul, but Mickey Maves flipped in. That, uh, that bug will, I think, almost be faster than the RSR. I've seen it be faster than the RSR down the straight. We've got quite a tango line of uh, activity here. As we uh, head into Ascari, let's watch uh, Campus make. Oh, Campus has a bit of a problem keeping it on the road as M3 Paul puts some pressure on his back bumper. Terminal Goats not too far behind in that Viper. And Team KR77 and Mickey are very close behind them. First and second are carrying a looks like a half second penalty. Mickey is gonna make his way around Team, K Team KR77. 
and try to make a case into Kerber Grande. Everyone seems to be thinning out here. Jared Freeman is very close behind the top six. Ooh, and there's something. Oh, must someone in this. Looks like Jared's gotten lots of damage from someone here. Mikey the Fist is in the room and left the room. That damage won't affect you going into uh, Della Rogio here, Jared. Jared's gonna take the high road out of the chicane here. Same as Scary Guy. Oh. Jared's had some problems in the in the uh, the chicane there, the chicken. As we crash down into Scurry here with first place and second and third. Wow, Terminal goes right on Campos' uh, rear bumper. Somehow, some way, and 3 Pauls keeping an RSR in front of the AMG. Let's, uh, let's take a ride with M3 Paul. Maybe we can learn a little bit from what M3 Paul is doing to try to stay ahead of all these cars that are much faster than he is. So he enters parabolic around the high 90s. A very smooth line out of it. Really putting a gap on uh, Terminal Gareth there. We're almost, almost have a two second gap. He has collected 1.2 seconds worth of penalty, so. As we go into Curve and Grande, let's watch the line he takes. that high line that uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to get as we get into Della Rogia. He drops down to second with an entrance speed of around the mid-60s. I would imagine he's going to do Lesmo 1 in the high to low 80s, mid 80s it looks like. And Lesmo 2 is going to be around the same thing. For anyone that is driving the RSR, let's take some notes. So leave Serato into uh, Scurry. He yeah, enters a Scurry around the low 80s. Wow, Jared, you only show seven people in the race? We've got 13. Parabolica around the high 90s or low 90s, high 80s. And that is a lap with M3 Paul, who is the race leader right now. TMKR 77, one of the faster attempts as we've had tonight or this week, is being drafted by Mickey 9209. He's going to use his slipstream to keep up. Maybe the uh, bug is having problems around here with speed as well. I don't see any moves to try to overtake, so he's definitely trying to use that slipstream off of TMKR 77 to help tug him around the track. Let's just make sure Jared's not um, glitching because he's only showing seven people in the race. That can't be, Jared, because you're 12th. <laughs> and there's one person behind you, so... Jared is going to be hopefully someone that we race against tomorrow. I really hope to see him tomorrow in my lobby. Serving a penalty there. As he heads into uh, Curry Saraggio and into uh, Scari. 
That's crazy, dude. That's a crazy glitch. I don't get it, man. I don't get you, Gran Turismo. I really don't. And three Paul looking fast in the RSR. Wow, and he's put a 39 in. Very, very talented driver with that RSR. Some of the quicker RSR times we've seen around this track this week. Uh, we haven't seen uh, Chris come in here yet. He was also an RSR driver. We've got a little bit of action going on between Campos 1996 and uh, Terminal Goat. That AMG is going to try to get an inside line on that Viper. Campos makes his way around that Viper, but I think that Viper is going to going to try to make a case for himself down uh Saraggio as we head into Oscari. He's gonna just tuck in behind him. Same with Team Kier 44, or 77, in fourth place. Let's take a ride with uh, Team Kier 77. KR-77 is going to try to, I would imagine, catch this slipstream off of uh, Campos 1996 that's ahead of him. He's got two V8s ahead of him. If he can catch up, he can uh, maybe start making case for himself in uh, the top three. But then Atenza is topping at, wow, 166. Barely 166 and 168. Uh, just can't get it fast enough. That is going to be a real handicap for, not a handicap, but a real, that's going to be a real problem for people that are driving the Atenzas tomorrow and the RSR. The RSR sees slightly faster speeds at 169 and 170. That's the fastest I've been able to get it down the straight without a slipstream. Let's take a ride with Terminal Goat and that Viper. Is, uh, right behind Campos, 1996, who is driving a um, AMG, that Petronas AMG. Pretty much the same thing we've seen all week here in the lobby, where the uh, bigger displacement, bigger engine cars definitely have an advantage down the straightaways. Where these uh, other cars might have a chance are in uh, Della Rogia and uh, the Lesmos and uh, Curva or Parabolica. But once we get into the straights, and Escari for that matter, but if once you get into the straights, it's just done with. If you're not in that slipstream, you can just forget it. You're going to get left behind. For anyone racing tomorrow, if you're in one of these cars, you may want to consider not qualifying first. <laughs> or on the, in Paul's case, you might want to qualify at first because he is in one of the slower cars. But he has a five-second lead. I'm going to get put Paul into the exception where he's exceptionally good at the RSR. Let's look back at um, the race between, oh, Team KR 77 and Terminal Goat and Campos 1996 are now a pretty tight pack as we make our way into Scari from Curve del Sol Raggio. Campos picks up one, uh, another second penalty for a little bit of a lane violation or zone violation. Terminal Goat is going to look on the outside for 
and Team KR77 as well. We're going to look outside for a line down Parabolica. Terminal go. Looks like he's going to be able to make his way around Campos just barely. And then it's going to become a drag race down here into, uh, para, into Curve Grande. Team KR77 is door to door with Campos. Almost going three wide. Terminal Goat looks like he's going to pull ahead, but it looks like Campos is going to tuck in right behind. And Terminal Goat is now in second place. TMKR77 is now in the slipstream. Maybe he cannot corner these guys in uh, Della Rogia or Lesmo. Let's take a ride with TMKR77. Make their way through Lesmo 1 into Lesmo 2. He's going to probably try to stay into that slipstream through uh, Curvy del Seraggio. Della Seraggio. As we make our way into Ascari, he's just going to want to maintain the slipstream. Probably see another drag race as soon as we make our way through Parabolica here. Looks like it's going to be like a 142 for TMKR 77. Takes about 20 seconds to make it around Parabolica from that bridge. Yep, and so we see, oh, mid-41. And now we are neck and neck with Campos 1996 and TMKR 77. TMKR 77's definitely much faster in that, uh, that SLS. Just has so much more power in the straights. TMKR 77 is going to hold his ground, but then lose it to Campos 1996. Ooh, and Campos 1996 makes a really good recovery there. Got a little squirrely there in uh, Della Reggio. Very onto Della Reggio. We make our way through Lesmo. TMKR 77 is going to tuck in behind Campos and look on the outside. For an opportunity to pass through a uh, Carve della Rosa or Carve del Seraggio as we head into Ascari. He's gonna fall back. It's been a wrestling at it's been a wrestling match with that uh that Atenza. He just cannot get that speed. Who's winning right now? Uh M3 Paul is in the first place with the RSR. Let's take a look at uh Jared has made his way into 10th place. Ahead of Scary Guy and Fabio BC24. Putting in some solid 142s. Let's take a ride with Jared. Driving in another Tenza. In that beautiful camel livery. Designed by moi. 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 Who's moi? Moi is me. <laughs> He's going to cross the line at uh, 41. Very nice. Very nice. Jared's putting down some pretty fast times now. Looks like he's got it. He's gotten over his woes just a little bit. Looking very fast. I'll place all Jared in. Jared is in tenth. That's what my screen says, Jared, is <laughs> that you're in tenth place. But do we know for sure that he's in tenth? Whether or not Gran Turismo puts you in tenth place, I have no idea. <laughs> Gran Turismo seems to be having its mind of its own this week. 
Let's see, we have another fight between Mickey and Brandon just ahead of Jared. Jared is really fast. He'll be able to catch up with those guys. And if these guys continue to battle back here, they'll give Jared an opportunity to catch up with them. Looks like we have another battle here. It's 11th and 12th, I think. No, I think it was 10th and 11th. 8th. 7th, 8th, and 9th are pretty close together. Let's go back up here with this fight between TMKR and uh, Patronus. Or Campos and the Patronus uh, AMG SLS. It's very, very close. Incredibly close. TMKR is really struggling with that speed. Really struggling with that speed. TMKR is normally a very, very fast driver around here. But we're finding out this week that our very fast drivers on tracks that don't require our top speed aren't doing very well this week. Benezzi, another track regular who is a, uh, I believe he is, he was number one for Mazda last season for the region, has been uh, finishing in fifth and sixth place in here. Which is very atypical of him. Mikey the Fist as well. He was fourth for Mazda last season. He has been coming in sixth and seventh place. Whether or not they nerfed the uh, the Atenza in that last update is to be seen. I know that's widespread conjecture, or at least uh, Mikey thinks to think seems to think that they may have nerfed the car. We uh, can't tell. We can't make a definitive answer on that. We can just speculate that that is what happened with this last update. Of course. It's Kyle to the ninth place that we're just looking at. M3 Paul has really, really opened the gap up. M3 Paul is the exception to the rule that the RSR is not fast around here because he has been pretty, pretty consistently fast. Let's see if it will bring up his lap times here. Fastest lap time is 141.411. And I have to exit spectating to see his actual lap times. Exit really quick out of spectating. Enter back into spectating. Yeah, he's been doing consistent 142s and uh, had a 141 and a 153 in there. Which actually makes me feel. Oh, that's Mickey. Hold on, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> say. Mickey's kind of in the place where I should be. M4 Paul is putting 140s and 141s in. Looking at some pretty uh, decent tire wear as we head into the last two laps of this race. Really, really pushing that RSR. I need Tree Fitty in fifth place. I haven't seen him in the whole race, but I guess he's been kind of working his way up. Still putting in uh, really decent times. He had a 139.864. He's actually got the fastest fastest lap time for the whole track right now at 139.864. And putting in consistent 140s with that Supra. Or is that the FT7? Uh, Super Racing Concept 2018, I see. Seven seconds on Campos. Those four up there have been putting in some pretty fast times. TMKR 77 has looked like looks like he made his way around Campos and now has a pretty sizable lead on him. And he's gonna try to reel in Terminal Goat. But I don't think he's gonna be able to do that in the next two laps. You are fast, my friend, but you're not that fast. I, 
That viper is just going to eat you up down these straightaways. <laughs> Not saying that the Viper or the bigger displacement displacement cars are going to be the best cars around here, but definitely if you are talented with them, you have an incredibly large advantage over the rest of us. R77 might have a chance. It's still got a two and a half second gap. Terminal Goat is going to have to do something really crazy like that. Oh, oh no. That's really unfortunate. Terminal Goat spins out and is in the kitty litter. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> You're the only person I've heard call it kitty litter. I, that's what I call it. That's what we used to call it back in the day. Heartbreaking. You've never heard of anyone call it um, kitty litter? No. <laughs> really? No, that's what you call it. And that's what we call it the kitty, kitty, kitty litter. There's little tiny pieces of gravel out there. Really unfortunate. <laughs> TMKR seventy seven looks like he's got some uh, decent wear on those tires. Yo, Mikey. <laughs> we were watching as we um, make our way into the last corner and Free Paul will take it in the RSR. Congratulations, M3 Paul. <laughs> As he flashes his lights, he will pass. The start finish line is our winner. TMK R77 will come in very close behind, followed by Campos 1996. I need Tree Fitty. Corvell. As soon as he gets out of Parabolica. Mickey and the bug. As he makes his way around Parabolica as well. BMW M3 and the Huracan. Our friend Jared Freeman's in the Camel Atenza. Available from my gallery, your version. He's got a special version that is much different than anyone else's. Well, not much different, but it's definitely different. Uh, scary guy for you too. And that Lexus. We haven't seen many Lexuses around here. And Fabio BC24 and that are uh, Peugeot. Oscars will 
come in with his Hyundai. He showed you to be fourth. And Isles and the Jaguar will round out the top or the 12 that participated in this race. Congratulations, gentlemen. It showed you in fourth. Did it even show any of the other cars on the track? That's so weird. M3 Paul. <laughs> Mikey said, shh, be very, very quiet. I'm hunting clubs. <laughs> uh, I'm not going back in that room. Congrats, folks. <laughs> Too bad for you, Mikey. That's all, folks. <laughs> not happening. Episode's over. Go home. Let's see. Where is uh, M3? <laughs> All right, Jared, if you're going to call it a night, dude, I, I hope to see you on the racetrack tomorrow, dude. And if I don't see you, good luck. I mean, obviously, you're going to probably come in tomorrow and say and jump in. But yeah, good luck, dude. So you never saw any of those people. That's so weird, dude. It's so weird. Good night, man. Dude, I'll see you tomorrow, Jared. Hopefully we're in the same hopefully we're in the same race tomorrow. Let's see, where's uh Oh the other left. Let's say the next race at forty. I will give everyone a little I'll give everyone a slightly longer friends. Say good luck to Terminal Goat. Crass. I forgot to add Terminal Goat. Oscars. Where's Oscars? Good to see you again. Good to see you again. And uh, we saw someone that is new here. Bipolar Express. <laughs> You people's names crack me up, man. <laughs> Good evening, nice to meet you.
and uh, Bipolar Express. Nice name. Good evening, nice to meet you. Say qualifying in 10 minutes. And I think we will run this race. Let's take a look on the track here. I'm going to take this time to remind everyone that there is a little donation box in the uh, description below. A dollar or two, or however much you want to donate will help me keep this little virtual racetrack going. If you want to become a Patreon member, we have uh, a whole merch thing going on with that. And as soon as we can get the Discord, run Discord running, we will have a Discord service exclusivity for all my Patreon members. Um, uh, below that are some uh, of my social network links, and below that are some Amazon affiliate links of stuff that I stream with, and uh, great gift ideas, and what I wish I had as far as, it's a nice livery, um, let's take a look at Art Blues in the livery, I'm not saying nice livery, that is a nice livery, um, but some Amazon affiliate links for, um, yeah, that's a good livery. Um, you know, gift ideas. Stuff I wish I had for a simulator rig. I get commission off of any of those links you click below. And if there's something that you want to buy for Amazon and you want to help me out, tell me what it is and I'll add it to the link down below and you can buy it and I'll make a tiny bit of commission off of it. Oh, is he? Oh, no. I just bought an M6 that I thought it was going to be the M6. Oh, no. I think I made a delivery for the wrong M6. Because I was looking through it, all, the, all the Group 3 M6s. and uh, Oh, this, dude. I must have made it for the wrong M6. Let, let me try to throw a, it shouldn't be too hard to throw one on the Walkenhurst M6 um, I'll, I can transfer everything over to that car uh, I will work on it at, uh, post stream tonight Jared and uh, I'll try to have it ready for him tomorrow morning yeah I can't tell the difference either they're, they're, they look almost identical so uh so I will try... Yeah, same with me. I know, I don't know what the difference between any of them are. They look like they were all the same cars. I will work on it tonight. It shouldn't take too long to, um, to transfer the one over to the other one. I just have to... Um, I just have to play with it. But I, I will work on that tonight, Jared. I'm going to try to push it out before tomorrow. Hopefully I can get it done by tonight. I, that was honestly kind of like an experiment um, livery and actually didn't really take me too long to, to throw that one together. It took me a while to kind of figure out how to lay it out, but it didn't take me long to put together. So um, all I have to do is really kind of just copy everything over. It'll take a little bit of time, but um, I, can, I can pull it off. I could pull it off. Tell Jonah um, I will try to work on it tonight and try to get it done for him by tomorrow morning. I'm super sorry about that. I should have asked you what which car he was using, but they honestly looked identical. I did I didn't know which Group Three car that the BMW issued to their drivers. <laughs> that sucks. It really sucks. No, 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 no worries, dude. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm totally, totally sorry. I'm 
super, super sorry. I should have really asked before I made it um, about which car, which car he was driving with. You know, it's weird because a lot of the cars have two different, they have two or three different grade group three cars for some of these categories or for some of the manufacturers and it's hard to tell which one you know the manufacturer um, is, is the one the manufacturer issues or whatever people take I guess Mickey 9209 and a Ford GT looking really fast I just noticed Arden Blue is in the Mustang Tempo you round you could probably tell Arden that he's going to have problems with gas um Dude, that really, really sucks. in the stream. I'm going to debug the room real quick for you in the stream. Hold, please. Debugging room. like we have to do this regularly now because we've had so many bugs. But I want to ensure that we have a pretty full grid. No one leave yet. Hopefully we won't get the black screen of death. Please come back to us. <sighs> Crap. <laughs> oh no. That's super weird. Okay, everyone back out. Everyone back out, we have a big bug. Clear out my cash. Come back, everyone. clear cash if it'll let me clear out 
which will not. Oh, this damn game. don't get it yeah I, th I really think it's I really think it's probably ps5 integration that's really messing everything up All right, please don't give me a daily what do you workout mean? car oh Christ now I gotta wait for the daily workout to be complete when I'm not gonna get the car that I want which is that Mercedes please give me that Mercedes please give me that Mercedes Please give me a sweet Mercedes. Oh, come on, man. A Jaguar? Another one? This is like my sixth Jaguar. <sighs> Boo. <sighs> All right, let me clear out my network cache. Oh, I hate this game sometimes. I really do. Please don't give us options that are broken. I am room host. Let's create the room. Why aren't you creating the room? Gran Turismo. This game should not be as bro broken as it is for as old as it, as, it, as it is. These lobbies should not have to, should not bug out as much as they do. I activated stealth mode. I didn't activate anything. Can you not see me? Hat? It should be open to everyone. Lobby's back up. Looks like we've got a new person in here. Tiro Caliente. It wasn't as bad last season. Must be it has to be PS5 integration is the only thing I can think of. I, I really think it's it's PS5 integration and trying to get the two consoles to talk to each other. Luckily, most of you guys are in in the chat, so you know when to join in. Just really tired of this. So tired of having to reset. All the time. Harden, please come in quickly. Damn it. Now we're going to have everyone that we need here. Uh, Mikey didn't make it in. Christ. <sighs> I can't just start the race. I need everyone to join. <sighs> now we lost everyone. Oh, we lost someone else. It's just so random when this thing goes in and out, man. Falls back. We've got the Brazilian contingency in here. This 
hate how buggy these damn lobbies are. One join in. Christ. If anyone's out there that was in this lobby, it's now completely full. Sorry, guys. Ugh, I hate Gran Turismo sometimes. Join the race, Talcalco, Teleco. Well, he left the room. We have one more room for one more person. If you're out there and you try to get in the room, it's now open. Please jump in. Please jump in. Anyone? I don't know how many people are watching this stream. Oh, T Slushy's back. Oh, that sucks. Oh well, I mean, I can only come I can only control so much, guys. I can only control so much about this game. I can only predict so far into the future about whether or not this lobby is going to bug out or not. I really, 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 really hope that they fix this all in Gran Turismo 7. Just slushy join quick. Let's go ahead and start. sucks. I'm sorry about everyone that was... Now you got to sit here and wait for the next race. Sorry. So sorry to everyone. God, it sucks. Yeah, I try to make everyone happy. Can't. I should know that. Looks like we have one person that's bugged. Campos. Cool, thank you, Tall. Oh, it's MP3 Paul. Paul, thank you so much. <laughs> We watched, we pretty much rode on board with you all last race. Trying to get some, uh... Damn, sorry guys. I can do about it. I mean, I've done everything I can. You know, I can't stop the race for... If the majority of the, the grid is, is glitching, I can... I'll stop it, but 
it's only two guys, and I don't want to have to go through. We saw what happened with. We saw what happened when I tried to reset the, you know, the room. The room bugged out. It shouldn't do that. That video game uh, companies now will just, you know, put out a game and it's full of bugs. This game has been out for two years now. There's no reason why why it should be this buggy. You know, why is it? Why is that the case? I mean, have they not been able to fix the bug in two and a half years? <laughs> be back in the day you made a quality product and you were proud to stand behind it without not having to really support it too much. With the video games these days it's become oh we'll release something that is half baked and people will just have to live with the fact that for the first six months you drive you're playing a beta and then over the course of the lifetime of the game you're gonna continually be seeing bug updates. You know I understand that there's probably programming issues and stuff that they have to deal with, but it's, you know, this has been two years now. You can't tell me that they've been working continually on trying to fix this game for the last two years. You know, it's one of many bugs in this game. It's just really aggravating. Especially when you're a very big fan of it and you want to see it succeed. It'd be the best game that it can be. And when something as small as a lobby bug really plagues it, it's really unnerving. I don't know how hard it is to set up a race lobby in a video game, but I mean, everyone just stays on the track. It doesn't seem like there's much going on, like, you know, Battlefield or something where people are running around and doing different strategies. And it's just uh, mind blowing that this game has so many bugs in it for as long as it been around. You know, it's been around long enough now that it's a PlayStation, you know, select for like six bucks or something, eight bucks. <laughs> I would have been really mad if I bought this game at full price and it was buggy. Super mad. You know, but that's becoming... Wow, you did two in the 38s. Good job, Pat. Watch out for I need Tree Fitty. With that Viper. Wow, you're running a Viper today, huh? Paul, are you in... Oh, Paul's in the RSR. Again. I love the Bulldog in your, your hood, by the way. It's awesome. It's a really cool touch. Oh, we had two people in the 38s. Oh. Oh, I guess uh, maybe it's Jay Giles, Jay Giles, and Paul. Did Paul put it on a 48? 38? I wasn't paying attention because I was bitching about how I hate video game manufacturers that put out games that are buggy and they don't fix them. <laughs> It's one of the most frustrating things, man, as a consumer. You know, and I know all of us have problems with it. Oh, bipolar put in a 38. Oh, Mikey driving the uh, the mellow yellow. Is that Mikey? No, that's bipolar. Mikey has a mellow yellow car. 
But it can't be Mikey, because Mikey and Bipolar were in the same room together, so... 38.5, wow. Where's Monzi been, man? Is this race gonna start? Okay. <laughs> Monzi's been really fast. Monzi Twitch has been really fast this week. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can, uh. Oh, AMS Fuzzy 420 came in a little too late. Looks like Campos is gonna spin back there. I'm so sorry, my friend. Sucks. We're going to pass someone who spun themselves. Trying to keep an acceptable speed through Della Rosia here. There into Della Rosia as we head into uh, Lesma 1. Try to keep an entry speed around 70 or 80 miles per hour. As we go into Lesma 2, we're going to try to repeat the same thing. Just like Paul does with his RSR, it's very hard to do. Might get the fistas in the room. As we head into Ascari. Fabio, so we can make use of that slipstream. Looks like we have someone turned. And all of us are off track in Parabolica for some reason. Sorry, pushing too hard. I don't know who Slushy's talking to. I think someone was probably glitching and everyone tried to go around them. Probably what happened. For some reason, Team KR seventy seven is someone else took it over. can't be the case. How is that other room still open? God, that's so buggy. I am the room, room owner. There's no way. Damn you, Gran Turismo! What? Are you kidding me? Somewhere back here. Someone is impersonating my room, apparently. 
So anyone that is joining the stream, if you're looking for my this practice lobby that is being streamed right now, a look for me inside the stream inside the lobby. That is the lobby that you want to be in if you want to be on stream or you want to hang out with us. Apparently there's an imposter lobby now. TMKR 77 to make a nice clean pass on the left. And I'm gonna go off the road here. I don't see how that's the case. Welcome to my stream, where I spend half the time dealing with lobby problems. <laughs> Welcome to Behind the Wheel, where we daily deal with GT Sport Bugs. trying to scare anyone from buying this game, but just know that when you get into it, there are some tiny, tiny bugs that are going to drive you nuts, like the one that we're experiencing right now. Again, Benezzi. Say hi to you in a second in a second. This might be an extra long episode tonight. Because I haven't gotten, I've only had one real practice race on this track tonight. This won't even really count because I have been dealing with lobby issues, lobby stability. No, it's always... again. That's Team PR 77. Next is way down the straight here. Okay, apparently we need to 
go back and tell Gran Turismo the keyboard is on. Let's play Respin. All Respin is on. Alright. Let's look at the 11 people that are on the track that are successfully racing. We have Bipolar Express in first place with that mellow yellow C7. Jay Giles is right behind him in the Jaguar. Shiny Jaguar. JGT 2222. He is in third. 90 Tree Fitty is in fourth. Thanks, Polyphony Digital. with uh, Bipolar Express for a second as he makes his way around the track. I'm going to take a quick break and uh, go to the bathroom real quick and fill up the water. 10-1.
back. Sorry about that. Had to take a little break. Tonight will probably be a long night of racing and spectating. Because I need a lot of help around this track. Just like I need Tree Fitties to get some help down the straightaway. Behind, uh, ooh, I need Tree Fitty makes a really nice move on JGT2222 with that Viper. And JGT22 is going to ride uh, any Tree Fitty's uh, slipstream. Putting in some really, really good times. He put a 139.662 in his last lap there. M3 Paul and the R RSR. Let's stick around along with him again. Let's take some, take some notes. Super fast into Lesmo 1. Really, really fast driver. Really pushing that RSR. We've got a bunch of YouTubers coming into the room now. <laughs> I actually think the Ford GT might even be faster. Someone had, I think Bipolar was driving a Mustang. Let's see how it's doing on fuel. I know it had problems around, uh... Oh no, he's in a, uh, he's in a vet. And the, the Mustangs had a, um, a problem last race, but that was the Group 4 Mustang, TMKR77, that's going to make his way behind Mickey 9209, and he goes a little wide. Hanging out to the outside line. All I am looking for here is a top ten, top ten finish here in this race. Just sent. And Mickey spins out as well. Five. We're seeing pretty, pretty widespread differentials here. We have been practicing slipstream slingshotting. Seems like all week this week in here. Wow! Look at this. Tree fitty and the. Paul's been really, you've been really clean in that, uh, that RSR, man. I, r I really hope you do well during the race. I mean... I don't think I'm gonna get a win around here. This is going to be one of the situations where I'm just going to hope for the best. I'm planning to qualify in the bottom half and uh... Skunk runs back. He's been trying to get in this lobby all week. It's a popular place, this place. 
where it's come from go. Express looking pretty fast in that Corvette. I need tree fitty. GT G G two 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 two. Your heart your name is really hard to say online or on live because it's got so many letters that seem like the same. Got a little bit of battle between the Aston and Martin and the uh, the Viper here. To anyone that's hosting lobbies, just beware that it's been buggy the whole week. And as we head down the final lap, I need Tree Fitty looks like he's in first, JGT 2222 is in second, and third is M3 Paul. RSR, 4 is Bipolar Express in the C7, T Slushy is in 5th is with the um, the Lexus here. Line, it looks like uh, it looks like it's gonna kind of pan out, everyone kind of spread out pretty quickly in this race. Team KR 77 is gonna come in in seventh, eighth. Watch the whole race, so I don't know exactly what may have transpired for him to end up in eighth. And those are our standings. Congratulations, everyone that ran this race. Good uh, congratulations to uh, Pat and that. Very, very fast Repsol Viper.
somehow, some way, I'm gonna get some points toward my daily workout. I guess T Slushy's a Twitcher as well. Good race, everyone. Good race. Uh, let's say next race at uh next race at thirty five, yeah. That's Skunk Problem's problem is he on the, he's on the PS5. say that we were going to spectate every single race, um, but I don't think we do. I don't think we have to. I think everyone's, uh, everyone's being better this week. Ooh, come back fast, Skunk Realm. If you're going to jump out, come back fast. Hurry up, come back. <laughs> okay, we'll have some people leave, hopefully. I wish I could reserve spots. Can I reserve spots? Oh, good. Scout Chrome got in. Good luck tomorrow. Those last laps in, everyone. Tomorrow is the big race. Yeah, I should, you know, but I, I want to make, you know, if it's first come, first serve, really, until I get, you know, really huge and Tons of people are trying to get into the room. I don't even want to do that. I Man, I just want to make sure it's, you know, kind of fair for everyone to try to get in. Oh, DJ Crystal is in the room. Let's 
say hi to him. He is one of our new friends. DJ Chris Style. Good to see you again. <sighs> Campus Lots of people don't think it's going to be a good race for them tomorrow. <laughs> it's funny because half the half the lobby thinks that it's, it's going to be a terrible race. It's funny because it's such an easy track to kind of get used to. It's just hard to get that speed. there and you need some practice time around the racetrack feel free to join and uh, description below if you want to help me continue this continue this little operation there are links to uh, donation bucket and uh, patreon membership everyone that is a member of patreon gets some cool merch and uh, once we get the Discord server up and running, there'll be some exclusive ex exclusivity um, rights inv um, included with that. And then below that are things that I stream with, my affiliate links to Amazon. Um, I also have like a little gift list idea list down there for stuff that I actually own that I think would make good gifts. There's a really expensive one in there, Vitamix, which is like 400 or 500 dollars, but I mean, hey, I use that Vitamix every day and that thing is dope. Especially if you like making smoothies, it's, it'll, it'll destroy anything. And to link it to cars, it is one and a half horsepower worth of shredding power. <laughs> it will destroy. I've thrown everything inside that Vitamix and it shreds everything. So if you're looking for that gift for someone who, um, you just don't know how to put a finger on if they like drinking or drinking smoothies or making um, pina coladas or whatever. Get one of those. <laughs> I have to be more sensible in the first corner. I agree. Let's see. There's a very specific line through Curve Grande. And from what I've noticed, the faster guys don't go all the way down to the right hand side to that rumble strip. If you hang out just above that rumble strip, kind of in the middle, and let it slingshot you out to the outside just a little bit, just not just enough to keep you on the track, that's actually the line that's faster because you can maintain a faster speed through there. If you dip down all the way to the right to that rumble strip in Curve Grande, you'll lose like one or two miles per hour. I wish. I've never been to the Canary Islands. I've never been to the Canary Islands. Thank <laughs> you. 
funny how social this uh, this lobby becomes. <laughs> we will run this next race. myself into the race. That's so awesome. <laughs> okay, here we go. Put the qualifying notification. And hopefully, we won't bug. Hopefully, we won't bug out. We're gonna wait until we hit 35. As soon as that four becomes a five, we will start qualifying. Yeah, the room is still full, Temp. Dude, it's a popular place to be. Everyone's, everyone's, uh, everyone, they, we usually have four or five people to jump out at the very end, so if you just hold on, um, if you just hold on, hopefully the room will open up again. Oh, Oscars, are you entered into the race? Did Oscars jump out or what? What's going on? Oscars, enter the race. <sighs> Dude. Is Oscars in? Bugging, yeah, we've got one person bugging. He's bugging. We have people bugging. I can't control it. I mean, I really can't do anything about it. I've tried to do everything I can to get keep this room alive. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm really, really sorry. I'm so sorry. Are you watching the stream campus? Awesome, thank you so much. It's so awesome. Thank you for your support. You know, I try to do everything I can to you know keep everyone in the race. It's just there's a certain point where I become I'm at the mercy of Sony's looking into digital servers. Really at the mercy of their server. I can only do so much to keep the race going. It sucks. Wish I had more control. Oh no. As I lose control. <laughs> this is 
sorry. I'm sorry, Paul. I didn't mean to enter the, the track like that. Cool. I'll, I'll take note of that. I don't do the Nations Cup though, I only do the Manufacturers Cup, but that's good to know for everyone that does, that tunes into the stream and does the Nations Cup. Um, does the Nations Cup. Campos hosts a rail of room for people that do the Nations Cup, so join his room. about supporting that racing community that we have here at the Grand Turismo Sport. That's why I take it so personally when the lobbies don't work. <laughs> Just want to make sure everyone has a fair opportunity to learn how to become fast. And just have a good time around the track with a bunch of people that love racing, you know? That's why we do this. We all love racing. Way more consistent speed on a higher line through um, Curva Grande there. Just need to work on entry speed into uh, Variante Della Rogio. Keep high 80s. Like Paul does here through Lesmo 1 and 2. Can't quite get it on the second part. Skunk Realm's on the side of the road, I'm not sure why. <laughs> Hopefully you're not glitching, Skunk Realm. If you're out there. I'll try to keep a fast speed there through a scary without getting a penalty. This will be a slow time. One, one, two, so it's 143. One of this. Accelerator right there. One forty three. <clears throat> it's really important to give yourself landmarks for those of you that don't know that out of here, out there, out there. Give yourself landmarks on the race track. You'll know how fast you're going if you have a certain mark where that isn't being um, measured by the split time or the uh, section time. You know, I usually give myself a couple markers somewhere on the track that are definitely outside of the section time to give me an indication of whether or not I'm going fast or slow, slower than my last lap. I should really maybe lessen the time here for the uh, lap finishing thing. Somebody had said in the last season to put it up to two minutes. But I think I'm going to drop it to like maybe 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Though it gives us a nice breather in between the qualifying and the race. I do kind of appreciate being able to relax for a couple of seconds before I actually run the race. Uh, temp, you jumped, you got into the room so late. <laughs> sucks. We'll run another race. So you can get a chance. Late night sessions here at Monza, guys. If you're out there, you need, uh, 
some last minute help, jump on the lobby. We'll hang out as long as we can keep the lobby open. And populated. It's like a it's like a study group. We're all in college for racing. Hang high and Kirby Grande. I had to lift a little bit. I feel myself sliding off track. The tires are still pretty new. 150, down to second, turn in, keep it around 60 miles per hour, 70 miles per hour, at the mower, penalty, game of hanging out and uh, try to use everyone else's faster cars <laughs> to slingshot me around the track. because I didn't know where his ghost was going to pop up. It's just, it was just practice. Just want to kind of practice being in a pack here. So I haven't really done that much this, this week. Hawk's uh, line through there. He drops all the way down to the first there. much faster. So I'd be careful with the bump draft. Off 
my racing line a little bit. Mikey right behind me. As he makes his way around, I'll let him get around. Now we'll try to use Mikey's slipstream to catch up. on those recoveries. Can't stress how much you have to work on recovery. Don't work on that. As long as you keep the car going forward and slightly fast. Shit just goes crazy. <laughs> so, too low. Sorry, chat. I'm really concentrating right now. I'll look down there in a second. Let's just put in uh, blue sections here. And just try to work on time now. consistently quicker, somehow, even with penalty, so that tells me that lap may have been a uh, very low 143, uh, still I'm trying to aim for that 40, 41 area.
what's up. And I saw you down in the chat there. You're on the wooden Hennessy tonight? <laughs> Slap. Never quit, never surrender. All right. Never quit, never surrender. I will not let. Monza get the best of me. I will continue to drive like a hero and get non heroic times. It's all good. Just as long as I know I was driving like a hero. <laughs> drive like a hero, folks. You gotta drive like a hero. Spider the Spider-Man of oh, the racetrack. I'm the Iron Man of the racetrack. Everyone's had more practice at this track than me this week. I'm still managing to keep them in my sights. So for someone who's only driven this track maybe a quarter to a half of the time that every one house has, I'm not looking too bad. I will eventually get good at this game. And I'm in no rush or hurry to do that.
and DJ Chris style. Some revs in the meter there. Try to do my best to rev match in these corners. I really don't do too much engine braking. The way I drive. faster. I'm still taking um, Vesmo 2 a little slow. Just so used to cutting that corner. Say, you're a party animal, my friend. <laughs>
little bit better. And we didn't need that. We were having such a good race, too. Oh, well. Let's just start, try to stay out of uh, getting laps, and then we'll be all right. But I think I'd have to really, really mess up in order for that to happen. But as you see there, Shit happens. <laughs> Shit happens. Faster, cleaner. Well, that wasn't terrible. It was slow, but it wasn't terrible. <laughs> oh, 
I went up three places because three people couldn't bugged out. <laughs> awesome. No, it wasn't terrible. I mean, I had two really bad wrecks there, so. Holy smokes, you guys went busy in the chat there. <laughs> Yeah, the other lobby title, um, Alan, that was the old, that was the old, uh, that was a good race, actually. No worries, DJ Chris style. Always, my friend. Always. Ooh. We haven't seen, uh, We haven't seen Wojtyi 17A since last season. All right, welcome back. Welcome back. Good to see you. Good evening. Yeah. Wow. He's he. He's the way back lobby member last season. Wow. Yeah. You know. Um, it's, it's iffy with uh, Lesmo 1 and 2. With the RSR, it really depends on where I am in Lesmo 1, whether or not I have to go down to second, or if I can just coast into it in third. It, it's weird with the RSR, because right there, I'm at the edge of, tr like, grip. And I've noticed that, like, if you don't, you know, you really have to kind of judge. And, like, especially, like I said, trying to rev match, you know, it really depends on where, um, where I am in the RPM band is if I can, if you know, I can either coast in third or go down. I have to go down to second. It's just that car is super susceptible to wheel spin. So, uh, what are we talking about? Uh, such 15 so next race at like what 30? Let's say next race at 25, right? Yeah, the room's been super buggy, dude. It's been super buggy all night. Super, super buggy. I, I, I like I said, I blame, I blame all the the PS5 stuff that's happening with, you know, them trying to integrate. Um, there's someone in here on a PS5. Uh, who's in here that's on a PS5? Someone in here. Skunk Realm. Skunk Realm was on the PS5. I would imagine there are a couple other people in here that are on the PS5. But, I mean, that's the only thing I can think of that is... What is causing all the bugginess. I mean, it's never been this bad. Every race one person every race there's one person that bugs out oh I have to say hi to yeah my brake bias is uh, minus one or two it really gives me um, I usually run it in the positive but for this track um, I've been running it in the negative because I need that, that transfer to the, f the front to get traction in the front tires for entry into uh, Della Rogia and, and into Lesmos 1 and 2. I mean, more of the entry into Della Rogia. Because I'm, you know, I'm going so fast, I need to transfer all that weight forward so I can get the car turned in for, for this chicane. So... Whereas, like, on more complex, like, twistier tracks that are, you know, the, where the turns are closer together, I, I usually run a positive brake bias, like, plus three. It just gets the car car's nose turned around faster.
Alright, let's uh let's take a look at the track and see what's going on the track side. Let's see what is going on y'all. Ooh, ooh, this is one of the very few R8s we've seen this week. Camp OS and his uh, Petronas, Petronas uh, livery. Very nice. Campos 1996 representing the Canary Islands. Woj does 78, 17A. Long time uh, lobby member. At least he was here last season. And uh, all black RSR. Kia EL5. I said hi to that. Try to make sure everyone is. Uh, Here. Say hi to everyone that I've been made friends with this week and then weeks prior, right? Yeah, Kia EL5 in that, uh, the Hyundai Genesis. Tom and Jerry livery on the side there. Probably reading my message. <laughs> Skunk Realm. In one of the faster cars this week that we've seen this week is the Ford GT. Sporting out a looks like a GT Sport livery. Let's watch as he makes his way around the track. He is uh, piloting a uh, brand new PS5. And Duval Ross in a very well appointed Bilstein, uh, Bilstein uh, livery. Wow, that is a really nice livery. Wow, we need to. We need to make note of that one. That's a really cool livery. Sorry, we'll take a look at it again. Sorry to mess up your lap, my friend. <laughs> that is really beautiful. He's sending in a very fast, fast time at 139.624. That is a really, really nicely done car. Oh, he's going to answer back. my lobby's so good, there are two of them running right now. <laughs> Hopefully the other person running my other lobby is doing just as a good job of me, as, or as, as good of a job as I can do doing this. Oh, thank you so much, Arden. Thank you so much. I'm, you're going to put a link in my comments to your page. Because I want to check out, um, because you said you're on YouTube as well, so 
put a link down below and everyone join Arden Blue and watch him on YouTube GT Sports stuff. It was a real pleasure hanging out with you tonight, man. And I do this every night during the season. I do a practice lobby for each race. And I try to, you know, be very, very consistent about it. I mean, there are going to be one or day, two days here that I might not be able to do. But I try to, you know, make sure that this lobby is open for everyone to learn from each other, you know. I'm trying to be part of the community and uh, just build a healthy um, relationship or a healthy uh, community for racing. You know, that is super non-toxic. <laughs> it's all good, man. Ooh. What's this livery? Ram v Valsky 1998. Wow, the Walt livery on that BMW M6. That's really nice. Wow. I wonder how that's going to look with the nameplate on it, though. Once that Gran Turismo nameplate goes on those liveries, you can kiss all that cool stuff on the side that you put goodbye. That's what I always... I mean, I, that's why I always design my liveries with the name, the number plate. Because... My thought is that everyone is competing in the FIA with these cars. So, you, know, you might as well put the number plate on there because Grand Tourism is going to assign you one right now. Well, either way, put, you know, put the link down below. We, you know, there's no reason why we can't all help each other, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I, I recognize the, uh, the RAM. The Ram uh, designation. I've, I've seen a couple. We've had a couple other Ram guys in here. Last season, we definitely had more Ram guys in here. I, I totally recognize it, though. Just uh, spectate. Take a rest. And uh, let everyone else watch someone else's racing ride, not just mine. This way we can chat in the chat and, and just chill out. I can chill out with my chat and we'll watch uh, everyone race the race. Ah, Woj just left the room. That sucks. There's an open spot in the room if you want to try and be trying to get in all night. Jump in. I will be spectating this race. So. So, whoever, um. There's one spot. Jump in quick. What's going to happen is someone's going to jump in right at 25. See, this is so cool. Like, everyone's, like, you know, helping each other out. Giving each other pointers. This is much more like last season. Last season, this is how it was. No one was, no one was, you know, showing their ego on track. Everyone was being super cool. But then again, a lot of people that are in here have been, are returned. Skunk Realm was here for a long time. Uh, good night, Paul. Are you leaving? Oh, Alan. <laughs> Alan. <laughs> we'll have to watch Alan. I'm sure Mikey's had a couple scotches tonight. <laughs> Okay, qualifying. Oh, come on.
You must have glitched. I'd imagine you glitched, my friend. I didn't want to start the race without you. I saw you jump down like right at the last second. I'm gonna wait for you to join. I'm sure you haven't rezzed completely up yet. Okay, there we go. Are you joined? I'm imagining you. Yep, there you are. I'm gonna let you finish your typing and then we will start. saying something too. Paul, are you saying something? Oh, wait, waiting for these people. <laughs> no worries. No worries, Paul. <laughs> no worries. We're still waiting for this other guy to now come into the room. Hold on. Join the race. Everyone ready? Everyone ready? I see two people typing stuff. Okay, everyone, okay, everyone's joined. Okay, all right, let's go. Let us qualify. Cool, definitely. I, I will do, I will do, I will totally watch, check you guys' stuff out. I'm gonna totally get, you know, check out your, um, y'all's channel. You know, we should all be supporting each other. We're all kind of trying to do the same thing, right? Oh, no. All right, everyone restart. Wait, looks like everyone is starting up. Alan, you should check whether or not... You're going to glitch, though, dude. <laughs> You should really go out and check whether or not you're going to glitch. Because we've had glitches all night. Everyone should go out and at least go run one lap to see if you glitch. Even if you're going to start from the back. Everyone, please go out and check if you're going to glitch. Because I can't stop the race if most people are not glitching. Is he looking fast in his uh He's a Tenzo? Let's take around along with him. Benezi, uh first place for Mazda last season in uh North America. Hold on. Do we need to restart? Looks like most people are running. I don't I don't think we need to restart. No, it looks like it looks like most everyone is running. No, I think we'll be good.
<laughs> really? Really? I'm gonna just check that out. I, I, I need to start watching more basic Ollie stuff. I haven't really watched too much of his stuff. Oh no! Trifini, why did you back out? <laughs> oh no! Dude! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no, it just it, it bugged for a second and then everyone started out again. No! I'm sorry, dude. Should we restart? Okay, everyone restart. Everyone restart. Let's just restart. Yeah, let's restart. Hold on. Let me send a message out. Yes, let's restart. Sorry, guys. Everyone. <laughs> Come on, Bowler Express, just stay. <laughs> Yeah, drop out. Here, drop out. <laughs> Thanks, Arden. Thanks a lot. G5, drop out. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, now everyone join. <laughs> everyone join again. <laughs> it's like playing, uh, what is that game that we played as a kid? I can't remember what it was. <laughs> Everyone join. Okay. 
Okay, cool. Key L5 dropped out and came back in. For everyone to start up the race again, and uh, <laughs> oh, this whole thing just drives me crazy. <laughs> oh, Grand Turismo guys, join Kia L5 guys, join. Let's go. All right, are we all joined? Are we all joined? Out. Are you gonna are you gonna join? Watched out. Are you racing? Uh, the Discord will be up soon. We are, I'm working really hard to try to get that thing going. Wojta, are you racing? Wojta, are you racing? Okay, I'm going to start the qualifier. I've asked you twice. I asked you twice. I did the best I could. <laughs> I can't make everyone else wait. Alright. If you're going to spectate, then... in that very, very, very beautiful Bilstein uh, livery. Followed by Skunk Realm in his Audi R8. Followed by Bipolar Express in that beautiful mellow yellow Corvette C7. Followed by Ram Valsti 1998 in his DeWalt BMW M6. He's one of the uh, Ram guys. Carl I2. And another R8. Wow, we have two R8s tonight. <laughs> Pat, I'm sure you've done like a thousand miles tonight. <laughs> Yuri Babylonia in an RSR and Benezzi in sixth. Like the fifth and seventh. This is just the outlap, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. I'm just trying to look at who we have in the uh, in the pack here. Alan Rosie in the in and out backwoods car. And then M3 Paul and all the rest of the bunch. I think Paul's gonna round out the top. Or, looks like he's in, yep. Yeah, looks like Tree Fitty's hanging out in the pits. Let's see what type of time. We're gonna spy on you, Paul. And just uh, watch your line a little bit more. I benefit from this because I'm an RSR driver, so. Anyone that's an RSR driver out there, watch this man's line. He can manage to stay fast outside of the slipstream with us, RSR. So smooth. It's like butter. That is like butter. Granted, this is just his outlap. I'm sure he's going to be much faster once those polyphony digital uh, hard tires wear in. I think the brand is Michelin for this race. That's actually it's Michelin for all the races. It's 
We're on board with uh, Bipolar Express. He's also been fast this evening. And a Chevrolet Corvette. Let's see, and, uh, let's see how he takes his car. Enters it at about high 80s. I don't think we've wa we haven't seen your car yet tonight, Pat. We'll take a look at it tonight. Wow, he's he's gonna be pretty fast on this one. He passed under the bridge at uh, I think 19. Let's see what type of time he puts up here. Oh, this is just not live right now. Oh no, 138, 138, 722. Wow, very very nice. Very nice time by Polar Express. Mikey's putting in a 40. Benezzi put a 42 in. Let's take a look at them. Actually, sure that's uh, Skunk. This is Skunk Realm. In the Audi R8. We haven't seen many of these tonight. He's uh, driving a PS, brand new PS5. So Mikey is in uh, third in a, uh, a Tenza, a Caterpillar a Tenza. All alone out here. No slipstream with the Atenza. Trying to maintain a 170 around that corner. Curva Grande as he cuts it in here into Della Rogio. We'll make his entry into Lesmo 1 at about low 80s. His entry into Lesmo 2. Mid to high 80s. As he makes his way through Curva de Solaraggio and into Ascari. Yeah, you change it every night. I, I, I want to see it. <laughs> I really want to see it. Let's see what... Uh, oh. Looks like our qualifier is over. So, we have Bipolar Express in first, Duval Ross in second, Vanessi in third, M3 Paul in fourth, Skunk Kremlin in fifth, Mikey the fifth in sixth, Temp is in seventh. Campos is an eighth. Ninth place was going to Ram Valsti 1998. Uh, tenth place is Carl I2. Eleventh place is Kia L5. And twelfth place looks like it's Yuri Babylonia. Thirteenth place thirteenth place is Allen, and then fourteenth place Pat. That's gonna round out our contestants for the evening or for this race. Looks like I need to jump out of spectate real quick and go back into it so I can get that. So Oh, it looks like I have to have Well that sucks. I guess in order for me to have the uh the lap times for each individual person up, I have to actually have that little information of bar above their head up. This is going to be a very uh, clean, gentlemanly, gentlemanly race here. Wow, M3 Paul, you're an E driver. <laughs> what? 
There, there's no way that you're an E driver. What? How is that even possible? <laughs> it boggles my mind. You're incredibly fast for an E driver. And the flag drops. Bipolar Express will head up the Tango Line as we head into Cover Grande with that mellow yellow Corvette C7. Followed by Duvo Ross, Benezzi not far behind. Looks like he's uh, trying to slingshot around. Duvo Ross. Oh, and Duvo Ross holds on to it. M3 Paul makes his way on the inside. Duvo Ross holds on to second. M3 Paul's right behind him. Oh, and Duvo Ross goes off course. Falls down to eighth place. Bipolar Express still in first. M3 Paul in second. Benezzi in third. Fourth is Campos. Fifth is Skunk Realm. Sixth is Mikey Fisk. Seventh is Temp. Good night, Arden. Yeah, definitely go to sleep. <laughs> Good luck on your race tomorrow, too, as well. And to everyone that is in your realm, your YouTube realm, tell them good luck from us. <laughs> Thanks for uh, tuning in, my friend. As we uh, get back in here to this uh, practice race here, we're seeing some penalties on uh, Paul and uh, Benezzi and Skunk Realm. Little bump draft there the Skunk Realm. Watch out for that in the real race. Good night, my friend. I think they're racing, so I'm going to say good night for them. <laughs> they're, I think they're all racing right now. Ooh. And as he's chasing down Paul, more than likely using his uh, slipstream. I think Benezzi's gonna play this very conservatively, 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 knowing that his uh, Atenza doesn't have the speed to uh, carry him through the whole race. We could see some off-road action here. Back here with uh, Campos and the MG. Mike the Fist is right behind him. They're going to pile into Ascari. And let's see what happens here. Campus goes a little sideways as Mikey the Fist continues to uh, catch a slipstream. Temp is right behind him. Wow. You guys really are really using each other's slipstreams really, really efficiently. Everyone's just riding in everyone's slipstream. <laughs> and this is what this race is going to be all about. Everyone's going to just have to ride in everyone's slipstream and really try to keep up with the pack. You cannot let that upper pack get away. We're, you guys are all got to stick together and, and try to help each other out around the track. It's going to really be the last, you know, it's going to be the up to the last laps, I think. Wow, two riding too wide in uh, Cover Grande here. As we head into Della Rosia. Very empty Della Rosia. You know, and I think a lot of it too is um, when people see aggression. It isn't even really aggression here, it's just everyone's trying to stay in the pack. Because once you're outside outside of that stuff stream, it just it just gets really spread out. The pack really really just starts spreading out, and uh, and it's hard to 
maintain a, a good um, good rights when you're getting so far away from the slipstream. Campus is getting a little getting bumped around a little bit, but everyone's just trying to maintain that slipstream. That's what's gonna happen when oh no! <laughs> Oh no! Mass is sp spin out with uh, a bunch of people there. But that's what's gonna happen when everyone's trying to share a slipstream, right? I mean, I don't think any of that. Uh, I don't think any of that was intentional. Everyone was just trying to share one slipstream. I don't think he meant it. Camp, uh, Tamp. He's been beat. He's being. All right, guys, calm down. Let's let's cool it. Cool it, guys. This is a practice. This is a practice. Let's let's cool it. Honestly, though, everyone was sharing a slipstream, and that's that's kind of look what Benezzi's doing. Benezzi's just hanging out. Him and M3 Paul are also sharing a slipstream. They just have been managing to keep it, you know, between them two. It's just a matter that I think everyone was bunched up in that big bunch there, and everyone was sharing slipstream. I mean, that's that's what's gonna happen, man. That is what's going to happen. Everyone's going to be all bunched up in this race. You know, I don't think anyone can do anything about it at this point. You know, that shit happens in real racing, too. It's unfortunate that what happens. That sucks. Gotta not let it get to you. Ooh, Benezzi made it into first place. Wow. Let's take a ride with Benezzi. Let's take a ride with uh, Paul chasing Benezzi. Oh, it won't give me his interior view. There we go. Right along with Paul chasing Benezzi. Did you boss leave? I think he did. I will say though, in Campos' uh, defense, he was getting beat up a lot, so... But like I said, that's what happens when everyone has to drive around in one big pack, you know? Yeah, it's gonna happen. That shit happens. there. Free Fitty in front of him. And Mikey the Fist in front of that. Mikey's putting down 140s and 141s. Spinezzi's putting down straight 140s. 
Paul is doing 40s and a 41 there. Bipolar Express putting down some really, really fast times. Wow, 38, 39. He did a 46 there for a little bit there. I don't know what happened there. But it looks like his average time is around a 39 in that uh, Corvette C7. And Chris is in the room. What's up, Chris? And that opened up now. Duvo or Ross left. How you doing tonight? I need Trey Fitty. He's uh, putting down some pretty, pretty fast times as well in that uh, Corbett C7. Campos looking fast in his uh, AMG. Carly 2 looking uh, pretty pretty decently fast in his uh, Audi R8. As well as Kia, L5 in his high end back. Yuri Babylonia, looks like he's having some uh, time problems keeping some consistency up. He's kind of all over the place. Alan is intoxicated. <laughs> and Rand Valsi is looking um, a little erratic in his times as well. I can't believe I'm jealous. We're not allowed out. Actually, no, we're about to hit our curfew time in here in about an hour in Los Angeles. So I, I wish I could do Christmas shopping, but I don't have the money to Christmas shop this season. But hey, if you're looking for Christmas ideas, I've got Christmas idea links down below. <laughs> I became an Amazon affiliate last night. I might make a little bit of money off of that little, those little links down there. And then that might not be completely related to racing, like I've got a Vitamix and a pressure cooker in there. <laughs> and speakers and stuff. <laughs> and if there's something that you want to buy, tell me and I'll make a little link for it. And, uh, Ram seems like he's having lots of problems. <laughs> I'll make a little link for it and I make a little money off of it. I don't know what I'm saying there. I was watching Ram go off the road. Uh, there's a really cooperative race going on between Paul and Benezzi here. And Bipolar Express. Doing a really good job just keeping up with each other. It's going to come down to the last couple of laps of this, of this race. Definitely going to come down to the last couple of laps. Wow. But Ned's looking on the outside of Paul. Paul's going to defend his, his uh, position in first place. Looking good in that RSR, man. Cheers to you, mate. Benezzi is going to fall a little bit behind Paul. Giving Bipolar Express and an opportunity to maybe get his way around Benezzi, but I think Benezzi and Bipolar will work together here to catch back up to Paul, which doesn't take very long. What happened there? Oh, Paul's going to get behind uh, Benezzi and use his slipstream. Smart. Smart, smart racing. And the smart racing right there. We can all use each other's slipstreams to get around this track. Skunk Realm and Mikey the Fist are uh, doing the same. Sure, uh, that Audi R8 is probably a lot faster than the Atenza around here. Carl is going a little squirrely in uh, Della Rogia, but he manages to grab it back. Alan, why'd you leave the room? Campus has dropped to ninth.
10th is Yuri Babylonia. And 11th is Van Dosti. What, what happened to Temp? Is Temp even in here? Dude, what is up with your connection, bro? Alan. What is up, dude? Are you stealing network <laughs> from your neighbor or something? <laughs> what is going on, dude? You better get that thing figured out before the FIA tomorrow, man. <laughs> What happened to, uh, Temp? Is Temp gone? Yeah, this is a really, really smart race here. <laughs> well, I know, I know you didn't quit. I was just trying to figure out whether or not you bugged out or something. I know you never quit, boss. Us Californians never quit. <laughs> um, who is your service provider, dude? Oh, he's spectating? Okay. Look at this. Look at these guys. They're just trading. They're just trading slipstream right now. <laughs> That's super smart. They're being really, really smart right now. Yeah, I don't know what's happening either, dude. Is it? You know what you should try doing? Try jumping into one of the daily races and see if that disconnects you. But it's it's been happening to you every night. Yeah, I'm Spectrum too. Like, this is like the third night it's been ha it's happened to you, man. Ah, wow, just one, two, and three just are hanging with each other. <laughs> Sucks, dude. I'm sorry. Wow. These guys are, and just being in their little pack, they're going super. Super fast. Wow, yeah, look at this, man. This is super, super cooperative racing right here. Uh, whoever's ghosting should get out of their way. <laughs> That's uh, the Ram guy. Ram Valsty. It's either that or he was waiting for them to see how they're driving. That's probably what he was doing. <laughs> I'm sure he was waiting up for them to see what they were doing. Wow, dude. This is a... This has been a really good exchange between these, the top three here. Yeah, they're amazing. The the first the front three, the fourth guy is 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 actually in last place. He's just, he's just he wanted to wait around to see with these guys and see what these guys were doing. But this is how you should be racing this race. It's just hard to manage this in a large single file line. You know, you're gonna get that bunch up that what happened in. Where, with that big wreck. You know, everyone was getting beat up in the middle. You know, and that's what happens when everyone shares that slipstream. 
everyone's gonna bunch up and everyone's gonna wanna try to get, you know. That was just a chain reaction wreck. I watched it happen all here. It was, you know, a huge chain reaction. But for when, while that whole pack was happening, you know, everyone was kind of trying to hang out in the same spot, trying to get tailwind off each other. Yeah, I'm pretty, I mean, I'm, I'm consistent here. I'm just consistently slow. I'm like 140. Oh, now they're gonna start racing here. I've been like 141, no, not 140, what are talking about? 143, 142 is what I'm doing consistently around here. And as he's gonna try to make his way on the end, make a move here. This is gonna come down to the last, last lap. Wow. I wish you guys that were racing could watch what the race that was going is going on for a second and a third. It's really, really impressive. I think Mike will become part of this in the next two laps as he quickly gains on um, Paul. Very, very quickly gains on Paul. <laughs> no, dude, the Aston Martin's done well around here. People have won in the Aston Martin around here. They've done some fast times around here. But it probably has a lot of power. I would imagine it's got a ton of power and it's hard to control it in, all, you know, the real high-speed corners we've got around here. You know, the RSR, luckily, the rear tires kind of get planted by its, you know, the, just the whole characteristic of the car that you know, the engine's in the back, so all the weight's back there. You know, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. It depends on the situation. Uh, the Nezzy and the... Uh, Nezzy and Polar are going to uh, look like looks like they might be leaving Paul in the back or in the distance here, but Paul's making his way back fast as Mikey catches up. Oh, <laughs> oh, keep it, keep it, Polar. Bipolar as it's a little squirrely. Paul is, Paul is going to catch up to him. Mikey's going to catch up to both of them. Looks like. Maybe. Now we're going to get into some real racing here. As everyone scrambles to the line for the last lap. We make our way out of Ascari and into uh, Parabolica. The Benezzi in the lead. Bipolar Express in second, Paul in third, Mikey in fourth, Heidi 350 in fifth, Skunk Realm in sixth, PL5 in seventh, Carl I2 in eighth, Campos 1996 in ninth, 10th is Yuri Babylonia, and 11th is uh, Ram Valsky 1998. And we will follow and see what happens with this pack back here. Looks like they've widened out. Yeah, he gave him a little bit of a bump. He gave him a little bit of a bump, but it wasn't, you know, I don't think it was uh, super, super aggressive, you know, intentional. I mean, it's one of the things where maybe he just over, he just, he couldn't get on his brakes. I want to give him the benefit of the doubt, you know? I don't know. I wasn't in that situation, so I've been in situations kind of like that so maybe maybe it was I'm sure I'm just gonna assume that it was an accident you know that's the only thing I can't assume you know I don't know what's going on in his head
but there was a tiny, tiny little bump. <laughs> now, as long as it wasn't a full-on ram, I'm, uh, I'm gonna let it slide. I think also there's nerves going on right now, you know? You gotta kind of give it a little to nerves, you know? Nerves will get you in strange ways. Sometimes it means that you accidentally bump someone off track when you really didn't mean to. You know, I've been there before, plenty of times. You know, we're not perfect. None of us are perfect. Wow. Give them all a thumbs up. Wow. Wow. Oh, come on. I was typing something. Why do I have to go through this? I was spectating. <laughs> I should go straight to my... I'm room king. Why do you make me go through these screens? Uh, who's that last person? It was um, Paul. That, that was textbook, for the most part. I'm, I'm gathering, maybe Ram is uh, was in here gathering information for tomorrow's race. Pat, I don't think he meant it. <laughs> he, he was getting bumped around too. He was getting... He he gotten he gotten hit a couple times, so so you know I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna stick up for campus and say I watched it and he was getting bounced around a little bit there, so I'm gonna vouch for him not being you know com being an asshole. You know you guys were just all sharing the same space, man. You guys were all like really, really close together. Thirsty mind, good to see you again. Yeah, you guys were all like bunched up, man. It was, it was real tense. <laughs> I was, I was waiting for, I was waiting for some craziness to happen there. Oh, Springs is back too. Um, what am I looking for? Thirsty mind. And springs. Good to see you again. And I already said hi to you in here, Chris, so. And oh, DiCaprio's back. Good evening, good to see you again. I think everyone's also really tense about tomorrow. So. <laughs> Alan keeps on trying to join the room. <laughs> With his continuing saga of internet woes. Uh, I might actually... Yeah. Wow, it was really impressive. Let's do the next race. Uh, next race in 30.
Yeah, I know, I know. But I think also everyone. Oh, I guess I guess Mikey's leaving. See you, Mikey. Hold on, let me uh, let me type this out. See you, Mikey. Good luck tomorrow. Oh, I can't even say good luck. Oh, these skits is has joined the room. It's probably late wherever Mikey is. Oh, did I say good to see you again? I don't, I don't know who that is. Yeah, you know. But I'm gonna say, you know, like I said, I watched it and you know, I think everyone's, like I said, I think everyone's a little tense right now. Uh, the best timing that anyone's got um, Evo Chef, Evo, yeah, Evo Chef, um, actually Paul has had a really good time tonight, Ed, Timberhawk, what's your best time, Chris, Chris is one of the faster people, he's, he's an RSR driver, um, I can tell you, like, the average time is going to be somewhere between, you know, 140, 141, Um, I mean, if you look earlier in the stream, yeah, neither, a lot of people are having problems with 138. Well, honestly, I'd be really surprised. I, actually, I think, Paul, you hit 138 tonight, didn't you? I think either Paul hit a 138. I th and Chris, I think you've hit a 38 around here before. It, it isn't common. <laughs> it isn't common, definitely, like, over the course of the race. I mean, usually because of, you know, everyone being in traffic, average times are kind of like around the 40s and 41s. Yeah, it's, um, you know, qualifying, it, it's, it, it's, it's going to be a mixed bag. It really depends if you're going to be in the slipstream or you're going to be able to efficiently use someone's slipstream. Um, you know, it really depends on a lot of variables. You know, the, the RSR is just slow in a straight line. You know, it's going to be really, you know, a matter of hanging out in the slipstream. <laughs> oh, are you driving the vet tonight, Chris? I will watch, um, Paul, if, are you going to, are you going to run this race? I don't know if you're still in here. Paul may, no, yeah, Paul's in here still. We'll watch, we'll, we'll, I'll watch Paul. Oh, Sin's in here. Sin, Sin Standucci, another room regular. We will uh, watch Paul for a little bit um, for this next race. I'll continue to um, commentate and spectate just so that everyone can see everyone else's, you know, line. We've got a lot of good representations for, you know, all the manufacturers in here. Paul might actually be on track right now. Let's see if he is. Uh, Paul looks like he's in the pits. No, I'm a D driver. I've, I've only been driving for... I've, I've literally owned this PlayStation for two months, so... I have a little experience with driving games. I've been... Ooh, Rev Timberhawk at the beautiful... Uh, R.I.P. Dale Earnhardt livery. Um, no, I'm totally a D driver. Dude, if you watch me, I'm totally a D-driver. I'm, I'm not that good. I can keep a consistent line, and that's it. I'm just not fast. That's my biggest problem, is my speed. I'm consistent, and sometimes I'm consistently bad, but I still try to manage to stay consistent. 
Alan, I keep on seeing you drop in and out of the room. Let's uh, let's ride along with uh, Rev Thirsty Mind here. Ooh, Rev to my heart, put 139.85. Dude, dude, get out of get out of Starbucks. <laughs> I know, I keep on making fun of you about your internet problems. Dude, I, there's something really wrong with your connection or something, bro. I don't know. Dude, try jumping in to a daily race. Because this starts happening to you tomorrow with your your internet connection, it's not going to be good. You're going to be halfway through your race and you're going to disconnect. You don't want that happening. See what Rev Thirsty Mind does with his RSR. But you've like reset it like you reset it like three times tonight. <laughs> I think you need to call. I need to think you need to call Spectrum or something. Oh really? That's really cool. All right, we'll wait. We'll wait for you, Alan. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little note. Everyone's got another little couple of minutes to breathe. Video until in the next. Uh, I'm gonna give you seven minutes. Is seven minutes gonna be good enough, dude? Because I don't want to make everyone wait like a whole bunch of time. Oh, wait, when did I say qualifying was gonna be? I think I said I was going to be 25, but... Hopefully you can get in the room again, dude. It's, it's filling back up. We might actually be full up again. Yeah, we're full. We're full already, bud. As soon as you popped out, someone um, someone jumped in. Yeah, as soon as you jumped out, someone jumped in. It's busy tonight, man. Super busy. Everyone's trying to practice up. Especially everyone in the U.S. Everyone is trying to practice right now, man. It's, it's a busy time. Dude, the stream's been blowing up. Look at it. It's like a real stream. <laughs> All right, well, okay. Dude, it sucks. I mean, we'll wait another six minutes just to work on your thing. Maybe someone will drop out. Maybe someone doesn't want to wait. I'm going to give you that time to maybe we'll sit around and see if someone drops out. Which does 17 a hasn't raced, so I don't know if he's going to race or not. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna I'm gonna I might ask if you're not gonna race can you please step out so someone can else can race I, I hate to do it hold on let me let me put it out
That's as cordial as I can be with it. <laughs> Misty Wojta hasn't said anything this whole night. Or at least the last two races, so I don't know if he's even there right now. I don't know if he's AFK. He hasn't said anything. I'm almost tempted to... Yeah, I'll try that, Tally. Or Paul. He's second on the first chicane and third on the gear on the, uh, every other corner. You know... Um... One of the things I tried doing um, third in uh, Parabolica, and I um, the line that I take, at least the way I drive the car, I end up I end up having to jet down shift a second because just in third, I, I could probably do it in third, but the car is going to going to be really low on revs at that point. And it almost helps us to be in second, just to get the revs back up. Dude, Wojta has... I'm tempted to boot Wojta. Yeah, the, the RSR is, is pretty tough to drive sometimes. Maybe Woj does AFK, man. I hope he joins this next race. Do you think I should boot him? I mean, he's probably AFK. Alright, look. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to boot him. I hate to do it, but I'm going to boot him because I haven't heard anything from him. If you're trying to get in... You know, the race. Sorry. I'm, I'll send him a sorry message or something. I mean, I, I don't want to... I want to give him the benefit of the doubt that he's there. It's going to... Yeah, I'm going to leave him there. I don't, I don't want to boot him because he might just be waiting for me to qualify. No, Paul, don't jump out. Don't put, jump out. That really sucks. Because I don't know on this end. I wish people would say if they're AFK or not, you know? I mean, I would imagine he's AFK. Don't, Paul, don't jump out, Paul. I need to... I'm going to... No, I'm going to I'm going to hang out and just watch cuz I think people want to watch. It's all good. <laughs> I'm just going to watch.
Rev Springs is going to slow down and let his tires warm up, looks like. And hopefully everyone can line up and get into one big slipstream. Oh, dude, Alan. Hopefully I'm still up too, dude. I'll, I'll, I'll be around for, I mean, just watch and, and hopefully I'll, you know, I'll be around. I'm gonna stay up and maybe try to get a race in here too at some point. I wanna see the biggest slipstream ever happen in this race. I wanna see a slipstream that is just a bunch of people slipstream, or a race that's a bunch of people slipstreaming each other. Just hanging out and sharing that slipstream. <laughs> Slowly making your way up the ranks. Dude, and good luck to you tomorrow, dude. If I don't see you, good luck to you, man. <laughs> good night, Alan. Take it easy, dude. And jump in tomorrow. I can probably have a fun lobby. Yeah, and after my race, I'll host a fun lobby. So we can all hit each other and ram each other. Maybe we'll play... Um, We'll play Mikey's game. <laughs> you guys are gonna like Mikey's game. Mikey has a fun, fun game that we should all play. That just requ requires all of us to ram each other. <laughs> Take it easy, boss. Be stay, be safe, be good, stay healthy, live long and prosper, my friend. You're a gentleman and a scholar. As we watch Temp, curious to see what um, what time our friend, who is no longer going to be D, he's going to be D for much longer, is going to put in. Much, much faster guys than me than in this lobby. I will get fast learning, wa learning watching these guys go around the track. Qualifying time since then. Dude, really fast at a 38. Wow. 10 puts in a 40. The skills of 41. Rev Springs of 42. Skunk Realms of 44. Z DiCaprio of 41. Race Pace of 41. All varying times within the 141 to 138 range. That's right along with Sin Standucci. Our current resident 138.97 holder. <laughs> it's been a great lobby tonight. I think everyone's kind of been on the level. little hairiness here and there, but, you know, I guess that, that shit happens. Wow, he's putting in another purple section. Holy smokes. He's got a beautiful, beautiful Ayrton Senna replica helmet. R.P. Senna. If he's gonna better his time. Wow, another 138. Wow. An even faster one for the 38. Wow. That's fast. That is fast. So it looks like we've got Sin Standuchi first. Res Springs in second. Third is Temp. Fourth is M4. M4 Paul. Paul is going to put in for, let's answer this RSR question. Oh, we didn't see his time. Looks like he did a 40 in there. 
There was a 40 in there. Still faster than I can do. I, the fastest I can do is a low 42. I think the fastest I've done was like a 42.2 or something like that. So he's a full two seconds faster than me. For an E driver, I have no idea how you're an E driver, Paul. <laughs> There's no way. Ooh, Chris is putting in a 39. Same with Benezzi. Two 39s. Very close to each other in time. I imagine this next race will be a lot of slip streaming. Slip, slip streaming. See a lot of slip, slip stream, streaming going on. Am I having problems connecting those two words together? Maybe it's because we've been video streaming for six hours and 35 minutes. Providing a resource for anyone out there that has any questions about what you're going to see for average times. Um, oh, we're going to do that in this race. If you have a question about a certain car, it looks like we've got a, we have a good spread of vehicles here. A couple of 911s, which are popular. Not as popular as some cars got two or three attendants in the field as well, and the Ferrari. We haven't seen many Ferraris around here. Rev Springs with his 458. Since Dan Beach's missed us off with his Martini liveried Jaguar. As we head into Curvic Grande, everyone's going to line up. It's going to be tough to try to manage staying in that slipstream of this size. Remember, it's all about those last couple of laps. Most of this race is about maintaining a, a slipstream, really. Some really long, long, lonely straights here at Monza. No chicane. And as we hit the level one, Everyone is still maintaining a single file line. We've got Sin Standucci in first, Rev Timberhawk in second, Benezzi in third, fourth is Rev Springs, fifth is Temp, sixth is M3 Paul, seventh is Campos, eighth is Skunkfrel, ninth is Race Pace, tenth is Tree Fitty, eleventh is Rev Thirsty Mott. And uh, ZZ DiCaprio is twelfth, and the skills is in thirteenth. Turn to the beginning of the front of the pack. I think I would imagine Rev Timberhawk, Benezzi, and Springs are going to try to use each other's slipstream. Temp is attempting to catch up with the other four, and Paul's right behind them. And I would imagine that they are all very intelligent drivers, and they're just going to try to hang out on each other's slipstreams for most of the race. They can maintain close proximity to each other. And not um, getting each other's way enough. This could become a very cooperative effort. But Nezzy really, really using that slipstream. Three very fast guys. We're gonna have to get friendly in close spaces for a lot of laps. practice this then you are missing out on a lot a lot of this race once again you're looking for oh that's a really beautiful livery for the you rev guys have a really really beautiful livery which 
Jam maintaining that slipstream and just not just trying to be cooperative with other racers. And you're gonna race, but you also want to stay rele relevant. <laughs> When this front pack stays together, it gets away really fast. You know, these faster guys, they'll hang with each other for the whole race. Tree Fitty is really gaining on and race pace. We've got a pretty, pretty decent uh, line of slip streamers here. Everyone's really racing pretty intelligently right now. Staying smart, staying in that slipstream. There's gonna be a lot of this going around. Let's take a ride aboard with Rev Springs. We haven't seen many Ferraris here this week. Let's look at his uh, driver telemetry. Woj to left the room. <laughs> Just like, come on, man. I feel bad, Alan. If you're still out there, Woj to left the room. <laughs> Look at this. Super, super patient. Super, super patient. Super intelligent. for the contact here. So we don't know how Gran Turismo is going to treat that tomorrow. People can take turns in each other's slipstream. We are on board with the springs right now. It takes a lot of skill to just hang out on someone's bumper for the whole race. These three gentlemen are doing it very successfully. Oh, springs goes a little hot. Yeah, it's tough. Trying to manage that slipstream is very, very tough. Spectating here. Super, super tough. It's a tough break. So, our top three is kind of. That's oh, a really, really beautiful car. That uh, tribute to uh, Dale Earnhardt. Chris's, uh, Chris's car. Very, very well done. We are a big fan of liveries here at, uh, Behind the Wheel. Ooh, and Tree Fitty and Temp are, uh, doing the buddy system as well. Both have very fast cars. Tree Fitty's got that, uh, purple, got the purple back. Fitty and Temp and Paul can get close with each other. Temp is uh, buddy system with doing the buddy system with Paul or uh, with Pat right now, and they're gonna catch up with Paul. All three of them very relatively close to each other. He goes a little bit wide, but he manages to hold on to it. 
Let's go on bar board with Tap. Actually, let's go on board with uh, Tree Fitty. I think we've ridden along with him tonight as we ride behind uh, Paul. Very fast RSR driver. We'll take a couple rides with him too. Maybe we should take a ride with everyone aboard. Jump a while into different cars and see how different cars are managing to stay on track. Pretty uh, slowly gaining on Paul. Two fellow Brits. Two fellow Brits are uh, going to help each other get into the top three. Paul picks up a little bit of a penalty, probably for going a little too wide. serves that penalty, he'll give uh, Pat enough, definitely enough time to uh, catch up with him. Show you the man is fast. I assure you he is very, very fast. He's gonna hang out behind Paul's slipstream here. And now they can benefit from each other's slipstream as uh, Pat Max was way around Paul. from uh, Pat's point of view. This is the RSR. Let's take a lap with the RSR. Doing one very fast times here through that slipstream. Pat's going to play it very, very or Paul's going to play it very smart. And uh, use that slipstream that uh, Pat has. I don't know what it is what what you guys are drinking over there in the, the United Kingdom, but it's it's definitely uh, making you guys fast. I'll tell you that much. I guess it's in your guys' blood. Lots of very very fast British drivers out there. spectator mode here and I want to see want to see Paul's lap times Paul's lap times look at that that is super super consistent wow it's impressive in that RSR to manage that type of speed for that long and that consistently let's take a look at um, any RSRs we have in the field. I don't think we have many other RSRs in the field. Campos has been pretty fast as well this week, this tonight. Uh, 
the skills is doing good. But, um, not as consistent as, uh, Paul. Yeah, that's, that's very, that's really impressive. Hat's very fast tonight. Like that. 39s and 40s. Chris with that vet is also very fast, really, really fast. We might have uh, two vets here and uh, doing some switching of the uh, slipstream. But Nezzy has a ways to go to make it to Sin Standucci. It's about a two second gap between the two. But that Atenza does suffer in the straights. It's been. Traditionally, really bad. And uh, Kermit Grotley by itself was only able to really keep up a top speed of 17, you know, 167 of like. Good night to skills. Benezzi drives a very, very patient game, patient race. Chris will catch him. I would imagine that Corvette, and if uh, Pat can and Paul can catch up with him, we will have another slipstream party going on in the uh, first, second, third, and fourth, and fifth. Uh, I hope it wasn't intentional. The skills, I didn't see it. Only one man here that's spectating. <laughs> well, one man army here. We've got a pretty pretty spaced out field. Thank you, my friends. And good luck tomorrow if you're on the stream. Good luck tomorrow. Good luck to everyone tomorrow. It's going to be a tough race. So we head down the pack. We are pretty all evenly spaced here. Thirsty Mind is uh, making his way up. Wow, really riding in the fifth gear there. Thirsty Mind putting down some pretty consistent times as well. 141 and 142. Definitely faster than what I'm doing it in. And Campos is... Uh, Keeping up with the 140s and 141s. Looks like everyone's kind of petering out. I would imagine that everyone has uh, got bedtimes and wants to get a good night's sleep before the big race tomorrow. So everyone's got stuff to do as well. And we're looking at a pretty well spaced out field here. Let's take a look at the. Uh, map and all the timings. That's live timing for all the cars that are left in the race, if anyone is interested. And this is our course spread right now. It looks like it's a pretty, pretty spread out field here. Since Dan Duce is really fast. Take a look at his lap. Yeah, that F-type looks really strong here. So I was saying, someone said earlier that the F-type wasn't going to do good, but since Dan Duce is putting some serious times, 
Look at that, straight 39s. Wow. Let's take a look, couple of laps along with him. Wow. Wow, he's really, really really, really putting on a clinic here for anyone that's driving the F-Type. Let's see what this lap is going to uh, going to be here for him. Is no joke. He is he's putting in another purple section in. He must know he's on TV. tomorrow morning and check out Key and Tijney. Key, I think, um, broadcasts his FIA race. I don't know if Tijney does anymore. But I tell you, usually, um, Mikey had actually brought it up last season. He was like, well, I'll just watch Key in the morning and you'll see what everyone's doing. <laughs> and now that's what I do. I watch Key in the morning to see what everyone's doing for the, the dailies, or not the dailies, the uh, Manufacturer's Cup race. Imagine it's pretty late here in the UK, right now in the United Kingdom. 139.701. This one's seriously, seriously fast, guy. And it isn't even a matter of being really fast, it's a matter of being in incredibly consistent. a lot of these uh we haven't seen many R8s around here though. It's so weird how sometimes seen too many of the R8s around here um, this week. Sorry, my keyboard is in a little table thing next to me right now, so I have to kind of lean over to use it. <laughs> on board with Chris uh, Rev Timberhawk. And this is what happens when the race gets really spaced out. seen any of the BGT here. I tried to spell Peugeot, but I forgot how to spell Peugeot. <laughs> but it's P-U-G-E-O-T. I'm not going to embarrass myself. 
It's light. I've been on for a long time. And I just misspelled either, so. <laughs> Seen a lot of bugs. Mistake it for lobby bugs because we've seen plenty of those this week. <laughs> You've tuned into any of this, these streams and seen plenty of bugs this week. And as we come down to our last laps, we look at Sin Stan Bushi's impressive list of times there. All of them inside 39. Wow. Uh, same with uh, Benezzi. He's got one 140 in there, but all 39s. TMKR 77 is back, it looks like. Rev Timberhawk's got a lot of 40s. And a 39 in there. Congratulate since Danducci for coming in first. Oh, I've seen a lot of supers. We've had a bunch tonight. Supers this week. Wow. Wow. Good. All right. Next race at uh, 20. Tim, you left. Where'd you go? Oh, we've had a bunch of supers list skills. We've had a bunch. Pat was driving one earlier. We've had a bunch. <laughs> What's up, Tim Karras, 77? Yo. Yo. Still here. I'm going to step away. I'm going to get an, another fill up my glass of water. Um, 
I'm going to take a small break. I'm going to refill my water. We're going to take a tiny breath of fresh air, and I will be back in just a second. Uh, in the meantime, we'll watch someone on track. Let's, uh, let's pick someone to watch. Oh, I know. I'm oh, sorry, dude. I, I check it out. Dude, um, good night, Temp, and uh, good luck tomorrow, dude. Hopefully, good, more than likely, you will not be in my 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 lobby. But good luck to you tomorrow, dude. Super, super good luck to you guys tomorrow, or to you tomorrow, and to anyone else. I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna take a little break. So if I step away and you guys jump out, good luck to you tomorrow. And um, we're gonna host a fun lobby at the after the race tomorrow. So, um. You know, make sure to jump in. I think I'm going to run the second race tomorrow, so just watch for the stream. But good night, dude. Uh, let's uh, leave you with someone that is running on the track. I think Skunk Brown was running. And hopefully, Skunk Brown will run for the whole time, then I'm out taking a little break. But I will be back in a second. Okay?
Okay, I am fat. I am back. Did I miss anything? <laughs> okay, Chris. I was gone too for a second. Uh, how long are we till the next race here? We'll wait for you to come back, Chris, to start. If you want to come in to the lobby, if you're out there in the YouTube world, definitely come in. You want to get a last lap, last couple of laps in? You want to uh, practice on your lines? If you want to do anything, come on in. We are uh, going, apparently, into the deeps of the, the depths of the evening. <laughs> Definitely going pretty deep in here tonight. Let's see. We're still good. We got a good good group of folk go guys in here. I'll race the next. Oh, Paul left. <laughs> you know, it's all It's all good, Chris I'm sure your teammate Understands <laughs> When did we say the next race was going to be? Did I say it was going to be? Oh, Paul, isn't you not going to do it tomorrow? Come on, man. You've got to do it tomorrow. You have to race tomorrow, Paul. Dude, you're fast, man. When did I say the next race? Is that 20? Oh, six minutes, okay. We'll, we'll enter this race. This might be the last race for the evening. Carl I2, good evening, good to see you again. This might be the last race for the evening. We are going pretty long into the night here behind the wheel it's okay but we keep these uh these last nights before the race we try to keep the lobby open for everyone to get a, a couple turns around the track to see what they're gonna do tomorrow I hope you apologize to your, to your teammate Chris I don't think, I, I know what you're talking about, I don't think you did. It looked like, him, honestly, he may have, uh, if you're talking about springs, he, I think he may have broke light into the chicane. I mean, that's what I saw. He was just trying to kind of hang out, um, or I think he was ahead of you guys, and I think he may have gone, he just went a little too fast into the chicane. race and see uh see how we do get a last look at the track I don't want to go too crazy into uh driving because I want to I want to give myself a little break before tomorrow At this point, if I can't hit 40 to 41, I have to manage keeping a 42 consistently. Staying out of penalties and uh, staying off of the grass. And I don't want to be lawn mowing or hanging out in the kitty, kitty litter. So, uh, 
so that's those are my keys to this next race and maybe for the race tomorrow I'm gonna probably try to qualify low tomorrow just so I can hang out in people's slipstreams you know maybe qualify 10th Odd hole of ass, okay. <laughs> and RC nineteen seventy four, good evening, nice to meet you too do Yes. Two minutes. Let's take a look at our member list. Lots of A's, B's, and C's. I will be the only one representing the D class in here. Chris wearing that S badge. Very proudly. <laughs> yeah that's gonna be the case for D lobbies as well <laughs> I don't think anyone is uh, no one is mature enough to handle that in the D lobbies maintaining a slipstream like, like uh, we had earlier with Paul and uh, Benezzi and uh, what's his name Chris, are you going to run this race? I'm going to put up the uh, qualified board. And wait for it to become 20. And once it hits 20, we will start qualifying. Chris, are you going to run? get their comments in really quick. <laughs> Qualifying. Sin Standucci is going to say something, and as soon as Sin says what he needs to say, I am going to hit the qualifying button here. Continue typing something, you guys. Qualifying. Post, say what you're going to say, say your piece, and I'm going to qualify. I'm going to say that last little bit of words that you're going to say. <laughs> oh gosh, everyone's saying something now. Campo, say what you're going to say really quick. <laughs> waiting for Campos to finish typing whatever he's going to type and then I'm going to hit qualifying. I'm just going to hit qualifying. Hopefully he'll be finished by the time That's, that 10 second count timer goes down. We are going to hang back and wait for everyone to uh, get onto the track. Oh, I hear someone crashing. I don't know who that is. I hear the sounds of someone uh, glitching out. It looks like it's Todd Hole of Ass, maybe glitching out. Just to make sure I'm not gonna glitch out. <coughs> Is there anyone 
mouse glitching. She just came into the room just to Is there anyone else glitching? Anyone? Anyone? Alright, guys, let's restart. Joins the room. We'll restart. Sorry, guys. Uh, I don't want to leave them out, but. Since Stan Dutra left the room. time here.
nothing really right in there. A little scary. It's going to be a slow time. Probably, uh, 43. Looks like it. <laughs> you did a good job. I mean, you did what you could in that situation, Chris. You know, that was, that was, you guys were all inside each other's slipstream, so, it, like, you know, that's, I think that's kind of been the thing for this whole week is that, you know, we've all been kind of running in each other's same areas, so it's, it's really hard to, to maintain, um, while you're, while you're trying to manage your line, you're also trying to anticipate the people that are around you. You know, that's that's a juggling act. That's why, you know, some of these guys that do it professionally are, you know, the best in the business. But you see the same stuff that happens in real races, you know? Shit happens. <laughs> I guess that's... This is a perfect course that to, to illustrate the idea that shit happens. Manage to uh, to keep a consistent um, stack of times here. Just gonna line up behind the rest of the pack here and uh, try to make the best of it. Hopefully, we can all be on the same page and uh, try to stay out of each other's hair. on the line here. Just pays to just kind of hang out in the back. We're finding more and more here at Monza. No one is trying to intentionally race dirty. It's just what happens when you get sucked into someone else's slipstream. Me. It's gonna be 
be tough to keep up with him, but we're gonna do our damnedest to try to. He's a tough act to follow. Left out of that pack ahead of me, like I suspected. Just trying to get the most out of the RSR right now by myself. there. So again, I watch the uh, marks on the roads, where the marks on the roads are is where you're supposed to be. That's where the groove is. That's where you're going to get the traction. You see the marks on the road there for the first chicane. It's not included in this race this week. Cathedral of Blood has been moved to Varianti della Regia. Opting to uh, instead of taking that gear, that turn in third, cutting that corner short, and trying to get on the gas faster. That shift there, which can be deadly here in the RSR. If you go. Bad downshift in this car, and you can find yourself spinning pretty quickly. Just looking for that grip. Don't want to hear those tires squeal too much. So at that point, I'm not getting useful uh, grip out of it. It's just drifting around the corner. grip that I can use to get me keep me moving forward at a fast pace. Not sideways. And we're not rallying here. She wanted to get away from there for a second. Let's gather back gather her back in.
difficulty too is gaining pretty, pretty quickly on me. to stay fast outside of the slipstream here. Still trying to take that high line to Curva Grande here. Trying to not lose as much speed. Sometimes speed doesn't win you the race. Sometimes just staying on the track wins you the race. <laughs> staying decently consistent. We could have gotten the gas way faster there. It's my fault. Could have been a lower 42. That's fine. I'll take it. Three seconds off pace right now with my fastest time.
trying to stretch the SARSR as much as I can. as fast as she can around the track. <laughs> it's not easy being the cutest car on track, guys. <laughs> I admittedly probably am the cutest car on track. <laughs> Do Lesbo one and two. We'll short shift there, try to get the most out of those revs. See you, Skunk Realm. Good luck tomorrow. stream my friend but definitely good luck to you tomorrow on your race good luck to anyone that's uh, participating tomorrow in the manufacturer cup race scared right now through there. Just gonna trust the, uh, the grip the old girl is giving me right now and uh, hopefully we can uh, Consistent laps here. Monza. Alan's back in the room. What's up, Alan? Keeps on coming in and out of the room. As I break a little late there. It's bad, I should have shifted them as first there. Track. This is as much of the drivable race track as I can.
I'm seeing a big stack of 43s and 42s. I mean, that is awful. Things haven't wrecked terribly anywhere. <laughs> They're all pretty closely knit together. Jumps out of the rim again. Grande there. Monica. to get straight before I hit the gas around Del Rogio there.
last lap, so I'm not gonna. It's gonna cool down. Do a little cool down lap. Looks like we had a lot of close racing in that little bunch that's in front of me. spend any time off track spinning out and doing crazy stuff so so that's a it's always a um, an accomplishment <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chris, I just uh just looked down at the stream there. Wow. Whoa, that might have been my last race, guys. That might be the last race that I run tonight, at least. I will, uh, I will take my entry out. <laughs> Definitely campus. I'd love to have you back. Are you leaving, Chris? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one more race. If you wanna, if you wanna, um, if you wanna race. Luck race pace. Ah, he left. Uh, maybe we should make this the last race. Uh, this, is, this will be one last race. Street video. I can't believe you're going to be in here. Are you going to race tomorrow, Pat? You're insane. It's got to be super late right now in the UK. Most of the things are already starting to say good morning. <laughs> That's how late everything is. Oh, good lord.
I don't know if I'm gonna do a last race. <laughs> it's it's like eleven o'clock. Good night, my friends. Pat. Good luck tomorrow, my friends. I'm gonna say it to you in here too. I hope you're running. And we'll be back tomorrow too, you know? We're gonna do uh We're gonna do a fun race tomorrow. Guys, good luck tomorrow. I think I'm gonna... <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be cold. Are you gonna run tomorrow or what? Or today for you. <laughs> TMK is seeing all night. Sorry, Hensticks and Patrick. Uh, sorry, man. Sorry, guys. You too, my friends. And good luck to you. Good luck to both of you guys. Good luck to you. If you're out there. that I think we're going to close down the stream hopefully he sees that message and we are going to leave the room and if it's anything like the other room this room might just continue going on but without me <laughs> apparently the let me just check and see I want to make sure that that setting is set to what it's supposed to be because I I, I 
I swear I set it up so that, yep, fixed room ownership, yes. So I'm not crazy. All right. All right, guys. Um, stream. You guys are awesome. You guys are the best. Good luck to anyone that's running the race tomorrow. I hope you do fantastically tomorrow. Um, we are going to run a uh, fun race afterwards. So, uh, you know, join in while I'll be doing the second race tomorrow. Let's see. The race I am doing tomorrow will be at... I do the second race because hopefully me and Jared Freemans will end up in um, the race together. Because we, we drive pretty... We're pretty much pretty pretty on par with each other. So, um, and his, he lets his son do the first race. So my race tomorrow will be at 5:20 um, Pacific Standard Time. If you want to, um, if you want to watch me <laughs> try to perform well around this track, um, tune in 5:20 tomorrow Pacific Standard Time. Uh, with that being said, thank you guys. I'm. You were a fantastic part of my day. I'm hoping I was a great part of your day. And uh, wish me luck for tomorrow's race. Um, I'm hoping for the best. And um, I hope that everyone has a fantastic rest of their evenings. Everyone stay safe. Everyone stay healthy. And uh, I want to wish you guys a good night. Bye.